Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. Awesome. Here we go. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, no. Now it says I'm ending. All right. Welcome in, everybody. We are getting ready to run uh, some more uh, Lost Mines and the Mad Mage. Uh, right now, uh, I'm going to let them tell you where they're at and what's happening. Um, but we are going to be starting off today with some combat. So, um, hopefully... Uh, oh, I actually forgot to roll some people in. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoy uh, this session. And we're going to switch over and get ready to go. Welcome to the game, everybody. Um, how are we all doing today? Doing good. Excellent, excellent. So, uh, we are going to be starting off with some combat, but before we do, uh, would you guys like to, somebody like to explain where we're at, what's happening, what you're doing, so on? I can take a stab at it, but I'm not good at it. Uh, just so it is, we are after Xenathar, we've, uh, inserted ourselves into his lair. We're hunting him down. We found the uh, Major Domo who sent us off, apparently on a wild goose chase unbeknownst to us, but it uh, seems we found a, uh, a jail cell, or a series of jail cells, and we're just uh, brought into combat uh, by some uh, amphibian creatures that aren't fond of us being where we are. Okay the hell oh there we go and um and why are you here in the first place to kill xenathar yeah oh, you are yeah well we were trying to trick xenathar into attacking the drugar who knows sure. you, you might still be able to i guess we'll have to find out it's not looking so hot for hope since we've been alerted. We'd already rolled for initiative, but okay. Uh, yeah, I forgot to roll in these ones that are in the, the south of the room. Ah, uh, okay. So, hold on, I gotta turn the music down just a touch. Alright, so. As you guys open this door, these three fish-like creatures standing in the room. I don't have a map. Same, same. Nor do I. Oh. Uh, I don't know why, but apparently I put everybody on the splash image page. Um, <clears throat> so, as you guys... Jesus, man, those... Those are the worst fucking initiative rolls. Um... These creatures start screaming at you. Not supposed to be here! Not supposed to be here! And they had began to charge. Val, you're up first, but I would like you to roll a perception, please. Okay. You notice the creatures uh, in the south. You you hear the crunching and munching. Stop. And they all turn to look at towards you. They look at each other. Not supposed to be here. Not supposed to be here! And... They also begin to charge. I'd ask what you want to do, but it's pretty obvious. That's what we call a hint, boys and girls. <laughs> so, you spin as these creatures in the south begin to shout. And you hear their the, the scale-like feet start to slap against the ground as they begin to run for you. You spin... And you release a fireball. Dexterity 15, 22 fire, huh? 
That's Whoa, not... that just messed with my brain, that sound effect. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah, uh, I added a, a couple sound effects for uh, for D&D stuff. I left your purr in there. I changed the fireball one, so it's just like an actual spell effect. I added yeah, a lightning one. Because it was funny. Yeah, and I, I added a wolf one. And then I've got other ones like... Whoa, fuck me in the ass because I love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes uh but anyways um yeah you release your fireball it streaks towards these creatures and explodes let's see we got one two three four five six of those fail 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 success and success Okay, so your damage is 22. And then those two take half of that, so... Half of that is 11. And that one has to make his deck save. Which is a fail. All right, um, so immediately uh, you watch four of them. Um, the room begins to smell like fried fish um, as four of them hit the ground. Uh, the other two, sorry, other three in that corner scream uh, in, in pain as they continue to charge you. Um, they they have scorch marks across their, their body and some of their the scales are starting to sloth or slough off their body. Anything else, Val? I'm going to move up 10 feet and order my owl to uh, attack the uh, enemy or the fish person nearest us. And that's me. Ray. I'm going to cast my moonbeam right here. All right. Let's make it a nice white and whoops. All right. All right, you can uh, delete that. There we go. And can you uh, post that for me, please? <clears throat> All right. Yada, yada, yada. First time on a turn. Okay, roll your uh, your damage, please. Oh, wow, that's actually a really good roll. All right, con save. I'm assuming you wanted to hit all three of these creatures, right? Uh, yeah. All right, so, it's, yeah. Whoops, oh no, what I do? Oh, stop it. All right, so that is a con save. Oh, I just realized that they are rolling to the group. Hmm. Okay. I said that. What? I she said did? it at the beginning. Oh, I did not hear you. It's fine. It's fine. 
All right, uh, so we got 18, and it's a uh, half damage on success. It is. Uh, it was a... Okay, it's not going to matter. Um, Ray, would you like to describe what happens as the two of them fall? They're fish people, right? Uh, yes. I mean, they got feet, but yes, they're they're scaly. Uh, they're basically bipedal fish-looking creatures with arms. Okay, so once my moonbeam like comes down and hits them, they all just turn into like charred fish kebabs, like you see at the Asian markets on a stick. And then Ray's like, "Hmm, food." Not gonna lie, fish and chips does sound pretty tasty right now. Right? It's one of my favorite food groups. Bro, even for you, it's what? Like, not even one o'clock? <laughs> it's yeah, it's too early for fish I'm, and chips. It's never too early. early for fish and chips. Yeah, it's I thought that day too. Today. You can have candy for breakfast. I thought that too so until cool. I had fish and chips for lunch one time and then I was asleep for the rest of the day. That's what gamer supplements are for. There you go. I mean, sure. Um, yeah, but apparently sticks come out of nowhere and, and pierce these creatures uh, as the... Uh... Their legs are the stick. They just get so charred. Oh, okay. You know what okay. I mean? All right, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, two of them fall. The other one uh, is quite obviously in agony, but it is... Still up. You have bonus action or movement. Yeah, I'm just gonna like hide over here for a minute and then I'll cast Shillelagh. That's it. Okay. How did I just roll them all in? I gotta take them all out. Let's see. Wow, that, uh, I got a lot smaller quite quickly. Uh, Owl. Owl is going to fly. I'm going to assume you can see the ones to the northeast, so he's going to go that way. Yeah, door One, is open. Two, three, four. And he's going to attack that thing to do maybe one damage if he gets lucky. Hey, be positive. <laughs> nice. Cody tearing it up. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, oh, that didn't even roll for that second. Uh... <clears throat> called his shots, though. Yeah, we're, we're, right. we're, we're going to call that a, a two. I don't know why it gave a, a zero for a crit, but okay. And that is going to be... Well, actually, Hootie has no... Uh, or doesn't provide an attack of opportunity. When he, well, but I didn't tell him to do that, so he's going to stay there. Okay. That's Hootie. Zen. Yeah. Um, bonus action, I'm going to command Yukina to attack everybody, starting with the closest. Um, <clears throat> and then... Um, what was that? Oh, I just forgot to roll in the prisoner. Oh, understood. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then I'm going to start shooting arrows here. Uh, th can I have a clear sight of this guy? Yeah, yeah. Hootie is a. I believe his class is tiny, isn't he, or is he small? Either way, he, it's not. It's not going to give him any cover. Tiny. All right. So I'm. <clears throat> I'm going to send one at this guy. Yep. Okay. And then I will use favored foe on them. So my stuff is there. And did it right? Yeah. Yeah. Seventeen. Yep. Okay. 
Um, if they're still up, I will attack again. Oh, yeah, I'll tell you if he's down. Okay. Another hit, I assume. Indeed. 13. Yup. Still up. I'll action tell you if he's down. Surge. <laughs> action surge. <clears throat> oh, wow. I'll, uh, I'll shoot again. Shoot again. 15. Uh, yep. And 15. Yep. And I'll shoot again. And 18. Wow. Perfect number. Would you like to describe what happens as these four <laughs> arrows pierce this creature? Yeah, as the, as the door swings open, uh, Zin rapidly goes to pull up his bow and fires four quick shots straight into the chest of this monster, and he, the monster falls down backwards, dead. Um, and that will be his turn, and then Yukina will move up uh, as far as she can. Is she... Uh, where she is, is she affected by like the mook on this for the first five feet? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Whoops. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, okay. So she'll just, she's going to run up to this guy right here. And she's going to uh, <clears throat> bite him. Oh, she does not have advantage. Sorry. Uh, well, you have it on disadvantage, but it's a 25, so make your damage. Okay. And that is her turn. All right, this creature uh, squeals in pain as Yukina rolls up and takes a chunk out of its knee. Kugra. Yeah. Um, and he is affected by the slow, right? <clears throat> uh, yes, for if he goes to this space, uh, that's going to cost him. Yeah, I'm going to say 15 to get to here. Okay. Um, well, I'm just going to have him charge straight ahead then instead. So he's just going to go to here. <clears throat> uh, slow going. Oh, and, and then he can dash, right? Well, that's only 20 feet. So you still got one more it's square. Also, isn't it divided? Oh, I get one more square. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so it's like... Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because he's yeah, got 30 feet, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gets 15, not yeah. 10, like I was thinking. Yeah, and then he'll dash again. I guess he'll dash, because that's, you know... Okay. One, two, three. And that is his turn. Okay. I'm glad that he got so close. This um, they take they take damage when they leave the moonbeam. Also, right at the start I'm of the turn. At the start. So, do you roll? Oh, just barely failed. Eleven. So uh, as this creature begins to run, the uh, the like kind of solar light coming down from the ceiling um, continues to burn, but it charges directly at Kugra. Not supposed to be here. And it is going to use. As it rushes in, it takes a swing with its staff. Does a 23 hit? Uh, yep, it does. Hmm. Seven piercing. Uh, I need a... Oh. Kugra is now it... grappled. As this staff uh, has pincers at the top. And as he strikes, it kind of it grabs onto... Um... Kugra's uh, sword arm or whatever axe, it's an axe, his axe arm, it grabs onto him and this creature now comes in for a bite, which that should have been an advantage. 
18. Nope. No. God damn. Why did I give you guys such a powerful tank? Um, I think you gave him a shield, right? That's probably why he's at 18. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he should have a shield. Yeah. Uh, as this uh, thing, the staff holds his axe arm, it then reaches in for a bite, and it goes for the shoulder, but hits nothing but armor. That one is dead. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where's my other whips? Where's my whips? Oh, did I roll them in as a group? Fuck. I never rolled them in. One second. They're going to have to take the turn now. All right, so I missed their turns, unfortunately. So they're going to take their turns now. Uh, this one is going to attack Yukina. Ooh, actually. Okay, so this one is actually going to cast something. What is the range on that spell? Pretty. Yep. Okay. This one runs up to here. And he casts... Bane. Oh, I should make that so you guys can all see it. There is... Uh, I need a charisma saving throw, please. From Zin, Yukina, and Valoran. <laughs> wow. Okay, Valoran. Give me one sec. I gotta check if I have advantage on it. I don't think so. I think that's just for Charmed. Wow. Wow. Denied. Rolling them not 20 tonight, everybody. <laughs> not when I want it, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anytime's a good time, man. That is true. That is true. It's never a bad thing. And you can Oh, you, I didn't know you said you can as well. Indeed. Oh, because oh, Bane's uh, an area effect, right? Not a line thing? Uh, No, it, it's not even... It's just three people within, uh, within 30 feet. Yeah, yeah. She has a negative uh, D4 to attack rolls and saving throws until the spell ends. Okay. Understood. Uh, this one is then going to attack you, Kana. So I'm just going to put a red marker on you guys so we know you were the ones with Bane. Oops, sorry. Uh, I shouldn't have... Yeah, no. That's the wrong yeah, one. Just you can... Right? Uh, this one is going to attack you can... Uh... Mm -hmm. 19? Hits. And 11 doesn't, right? No, 11 misses. All right. So, Yukina is uh, grappled. Um, so, for the two creatures that are now grappled, uh, you can take an action to escape the grapple. If you would like on your turns. Uh, she does take five piercing damage from the pincer staff. Uh, this one grabs okay. her around the neck and it kind of bites in. Um, but as 
the creature goes in for the bite. Um, you can imagine just to like she's trying to rip her her head away from the 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 pincer staff. Uh, so he ends up missing. Valorant, you are up. I'm gonna go with Toll the Dead on the one just to the east of Hootie. Yep. And I think he had one point of damage done to him. Or was that the one that's in shot? Uh no, that one has not taken any damage, but uh okay, never mind it then. doesn't take any damage on a success, right? Yeah, I don't think it does. Yeah, no. Um it it kind of shakes its head as it seems to be hearing uh something that you nobody else can. Um but it looks directly at you, Val. It's not I'll happy. Use my free action to shoot at the finger. And then I'll order my owl to uh, attack the creature to the east of him. Or nearest to him, I should say, because he won't know east, north, southwest. Yep. Okay. Do you want to wait till his turn, or should I move it now? Or... That's the end of my turn. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ray! <laughs> Um, I'm going to move the moonbeam, which, Savage, you'll have to do for me. Uh-huh. I would like it just to be on the cusp of hitting this guy without hitting our person. So there. Yeah. Sure. Give me your damage. And... Oh, you got to come out to do that, though, I think. Because you can't see where the creature is. Oh, okay, sorry, so, I'll pop out. Yeah. That's 5, 10. That there will be 20 feet of movement because the uh, goo. Uh, 11. He needs con save. He fails. Uh... You come into the room and you see that this creature's left your moonbeam. You you shift it a little bit further and you watch it as uh looks a little like uh crematorium or crematoria on uh you know in um the Riddick series. Oh yep, yep. It just looks like, you know, slowly as this thing moves forward, uh the surface of this creature begins to light a flame uh once again in this burning light. Uh, it is still alive. Nice visual. But barely. Okay, and then I'm just going to take one step backwards, because that'll be all my movement, right? Indeed. And that's my turn. You hear from inside the room thudding on a door. It sounds very reminiscent of uh, when Ren would kick in doors, but not get it open on the first attempt. Yeah, no, it's not busting open. Owl! Owl! Fifteen hit. It sure does. And that is Hell's turn. Okay. This one, keeping Yukina in its grip. Uh, let's see who all can it see. Yeah, I can see part of you, Val. So, it is also going to cast Bane! I need... Uh, actually, hold on a sec. I don't think Ray's within range, but let me see. No, definitely not within range. Uh, yep, yeah, you, you pass, Val. Zinn? 
Should I do one for Rudy? <clears throat> is this something I can use my lucky coin on? Probably not, right? I think it's just. It's a D20 check. roll, isn't it? Um. Uh, reaction spend one. Yeah, use reaction spend one charge plus one bonus to your next ability check. This coin gets D1 charge daily. For spend oh, daily. it's uh. Ability checks only. Okay. Um, you pass anyways. And okay. yes, do uh, one for Hootie, please. Oh, that's a fail. Okay. Zen, you're up. You are muted, sir. Do I have a clear shot on this guy? I'm going to say he's probably going to have, like, quarter cover mm, be because okay, okay. of uh, Yukina being in front of him. Yeah. And this one? Clear cover. Um... Okay, I'm going to shoot at this guy then. Actually, before I shoot at him, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Okay. So he is now marked. With my bonus action. He sure is. Oh, sorry. He's actually got to do a concentration save real quick for his bane. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you can no longer has bane. Wow. Get some hootie. Uh, wow. Good job, hootie. Um, but yeah, Mike, your uh, your attacks. What the fuck? Let's go. Full send. Wow. Okay, so that is 17, 21, 29. 29. Eighteen. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's a hit. He's still up. Okay, and that is my turn. And he needs to make two concentration saves, which I'm pretty sure he's gonna fail. Uh oh wow, he actually succeeded on the first one and failed on the second one. Hootie no longer has Bane. Um, and then as Yukina's turn hits, she's going to try to break free, and that's just strength check. Uh, yeah, athletics if she has it. If not, uh, just strength. strength. Yeah, that's all she's got. Yeah. Okay. Jesus, she breaks free. She and she ends up slipping it. the uh the the pincer staff. Uh, the. Kuoto Whip screeches out uh, in Undercommon, by the way, since Zen, you're the only one that can understand it. Not yeah. supposed to be here! Um, and then she only has a bonus action, so she's actually going to stay where she is now. Ugra. Um, I think he's just, he's just going to swing on it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you yeah, want to describe it? <laughs> yeah. Um, Kugra brings his axe straight down on top of it, cracking its skull open. And then as he pulls the axe out, there's like a bit of like the sizzle as the blood is getting like lit by the radiant flames that it's standing in. Very nice. You're disgusting. <laughs> it's your radiant flames. I'm just kidding. Yeah, you did it. It's your fault. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely down. Uh, Cougar still has, uh, movement and bonus action. And, I mean, if he gets close enough to attack something. Um, uh, does he hear any noises? We did just walk through this hall, and I know that we, I believe we heard there was people in the other, like, 
heard people talking and stuff around us. So are we hearing people being alerted of this at this point or what? Um, yeah, well, let me actually see what these people are. Second. Ah, uh, yes. Um, you can hear, uh, a voice coming actually from behind this iron gate. Help me. Help me, please. Okay. Um, I guess with that, what I'll do is I'll have him move towards this door if I can. Um, and can he tell which way the door swings? Yeah. It swings towards him. Okay, so if he braces himself against the door right now, waiting for his allies to be ready, <clears throat> um, can he do that? I don't know if that's an action or what. Uh, he can't really move anymore, so... So, like, he's trying to hold it shut? Yeah, for just for now, until his uh, allies are ready. Okay. I guess. So he, he, he walks up and he plants his one foot against the door. And... You feel... Or, sorry, uh... I guess nobody can actually see it. Ray might be able to. But it looks like, uh, he braces himself against the door. So... With this, uh, what it'll be is actually he already used a action. Hmm. He has bonus action and object interaction. That's all he's got left. So uh, can't I, can't... I'm I'm trying to. That's what I'm trying to think is because mm -hmm. I feel like to actually hold it shut against something. You know what? Uh, yeah, he's gonna brace it. Well, if something comes out of that door, we'll we'll decide then. And then can he like call back and say something along the lines of like, hurry up over there. Uh, we got, we got uh, someone calling for help over here type deal. Oh, he sure can. Hmm. Okay. I, I mean, we've been pretty noisy at this point, I assume. So <clears throat> things screaming at us and us shooting fireballs and stuff. Oh, you sure have. <laughs> it's not quiet. Well, it wasn't until Savage's soundboard. Yeah, God. So noisy. Why? Was it too loud? No, no, no. I'm just using it. But before that, it was a silent spell. I mean, there was no sound associated with it. We just, or you just associated one with it. I'm just blaming you for what was obviously my fault. Oh, I see. I see. You know, per the norm. I'm yeah. I, I'm I'm used to it. Real life too. You know, <laughs> how how high is that plane, Savage? <laughs> oh, this motherfucker throwing my own words back at me. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me just do something real quick. Okay, why is that? I don't have any bars to choose from on that. Oh, wow. Oh, no. No, I was supposed to roll. Fucking hell. Ignore that. You didn't see that. That didn't happen. Okay. I saw everything. You saw fucking yeah, nothing. The surprise is lost. You probably shouldn't even bother at this point. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. This cougar braces himself against the door. Jesus. <laughs> All right, so this one is going to bite at uh, our friendly neighborhood, Hootie. Uh, I take it an 11 hits your owl. 
It meets a beats. Bye, Hootie. It, it it kind of like uh follows it in the sky for a minute before it bites, uh, timing it perfectly to chomp down. And as it tries to chew, it seems very confused. It then is going to charge in. Zin, it is going to try to uh, grab one of your arms. Let's see if it hits. Um, it goes to use its pincer staff, and as it gets close, you feel uh, you you can see the um, pincers close. Um, you manage to get your hand out of the way just in time, and just snaps that air. <laughs> Valoran, it's your turn. When I look to my east, is this person or this fish person injured? Uh, very. The one beside me? Yeah, yeah. Very hurt. I'm going to try. Toll the dead again. Sure. Wisdom. That is a fail. 13. Uh, it, it kind of screeches uh, as it, it grips its head. And you see it kind of shaking and um, a black fluid starts to leak from its, its no or sorry, its ears. Um, it, it seems like it's taking a moment to, um, for his eyes to refocus as he stands up to get ready for his attack. Um, However, he's looking extremely, extremely hurt. Good. I will move, and I believe it was difficult movement, so I can only move three squares. Indeed. And that will be me. Ray, you're up. Uh, give me a perception real quick. <clears throat> Ray. Yeah, Ray, you notice uh, this thing uh, uh, kind of screeching and holding its head as black fluid leaks out its ears. But you also notice down here uh, Cougar who's shouting and seems to be holding the door against, at the moment, doesn't look like there's any um, any movement against the door currently, but he's holding it just in case. What would you like to do? Okay, I'd like to move my moonbeam in, like, this area. Okay. And that's it. And then I, that's it. Okay. All right. I need a contested athletics, please, from Kugra. Contested athletics? Oh, oh, okay. Uh -huh. Um, sorry, I'm looking at multiple sheets. There we go. Come on, Kugra. Wow, wow! Con considering this creature's strength, that was that's crazy. <laughs> it almost fucking beat him. Crazy good, crazy bad. Well, good for you, but like it almost beat him, considering what oh. kind of strength this creature actually has. Wow. Okay. Um, Kugra, uh, Kugra feels something pushing against the door now. Kugra may say something if he wishes. Um. I don't really know how his character is, but maybe he'll say something along like, um, hey, in there, you cut it out. You stay put till we're ready. I like it. Everything in good order. Is that what you're talking, or he needs a minute? No, I was just shifting some tokens around. Okay, okay. 
Uh, Zin, you can hear from the room uh, more thudding against the door. And let's do a strength check. 18. Okay. Why is this still rolling too? I mean, he's friendly. It doesn't matter. Are you giving us hints that he's friendly? Well, uh, I, I'm... I guess I'm tired and not really thinking about what I should and should not be saying. But uh, you hear what sounds like a wooden door start to crack from inside. You! You stop it! Stay where you are! Don't stop trying to break out! Uh, Zin, you hear this in Undercommon. I want to break free! You're welcome for that. That's a good song. I like that song. Um, you know what? It's funny you mentioned breaking free. Oh, this is this is gonna be fun for Pretty me. Oh wow, this one's a caster. I didn't realize that. Good, good, good. Let's see what's he got. Okay. Well, that one's not going to work. Oh, what this one might, though. No, that won't work either. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. He's apparently not going to break free because he doesn't have the strength to do it and his abilities can't do it. But you know what he can do? Is he can go the other fucking way. Ready? Okay, he's gonna he's gonna hold there for the moment. Uh Kuotoa. Alright, this one's gonna do a couple attacks against Yukina. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, uh, 22 hits, Yukina, yeah? Yep. Three piercing, and she is grappled, which gives advantage to the next attack. Uh, which uh, is another five. So, this thing once again grabs by the neck, but this time, as it goes to bite, it manages to land one. Um... Yukina screeches in pain as this creature bites into... Silvery. Uh, Silvery barbs? Haha, <laughs> yes. I fucking hate you sometimes. <laughs> it's okay, I hate me sometimes too. Oh, fuck. I don't, I love you all the time. Aw, oh, thank you, Ray. Which one are you Silvery Barbsing? The first attack or the second one? Well, which one hit? Oh, they both did. Oh, shit balls. Well, then I'll go with the first one, because I'd go at it the first opportunity. Okay, well then let's re-roll that one. <laughs> Does a 17 hit? Nope. It doesn't, a 17 doesn't hit Yukina? Nope, 18 is the AC to beat. <laughs> Bro, what? How? <laughs> How does Yukina have <laughs> well, the AC she has of a 17. plate? So she has 17, and then you gave her that armor that fits under her skin that gives her a plus one to her AC as well. Oh, she has a base of 17? Yep. What? What proficiency bonus are you at? Three still? Um, yep, three. It's been 17. It says in the the DMG or whatever. It's 14 plus proficiency, I think. Holy shit. Yeah, 14 plus proficiency bonus plus Jesus. 17 plus one. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. 
Okay. Uh, yeah. So the pincer didn't uh didn't hit. I guess. So she does not take three piercing. She is not grappled, but the bite still does. She uh, doesn't have advantage on the bite. So did it hit on the first or the second? What? Because you had, she had advantage on the, they had advantage on the bite because of being. Oh bad. no, it hit on the first. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, fine. it, it so was that a twenty. Was five. That one is five. Yes. Uh, she screams in pain as she dodges the pincer just for uh, the the top of her her skull to get caught in in this creature's bite. Um, it rips scale and flesh from the top of her head. Uh, it is your turn, Zin. Okay, uh, can I use my object interaction to grab one sword out of my thing? Uh, yes, you may. Okay, and then I am going to attack this guy. Okay. Uh, gone, 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 gone. You still have your hunter's mark on him. Yeah, I just had to remove the uh, bracers of archery and the plus one arrow bonuses. Wow. That's a um, shame. Um, second attack. That does oh. hit just barely. Oh my god, I was like, are you kidding me? Okay. And whatever that is. 18. <laughs> you want to describe this massacre? Yeah, this uh this thing comes up and like surprises in and as he tries to pull out his scimitar the first <coughs> first swing goes wide maybe clipping the wall because there's not a lot of room uh but then he's able to kind of turn his blade around and correct it and stab it straight through the uh the stomach of this one yeah um it it kind of like looks up at you as it starts to fall and goes not supposed to be it. and he just kind of drops to the ground <laughs> awesome uh, bonus action move Hunter's Mark to this guy. Okay. And that will be my turn. I, I, I know what Cougar is saying, so I'm trying to finish this up quick, so. Uh oh, you still that's got your, uh, yeah, I mean, that's fair. Uh, you got you can just turn your left, though. Oh, yes, that's right. She's not grappled this time, so she can bite. I mean, she could have bit before, but it would have been a disadvantage. Yeah, which is no fun doesn't matter, doesn't matter. i'm still reeling from the pain in her head uh she she tries to bite and uh unfortunately her teeth hit the ground instead uh she goes for the foot okay um that is going to be my turn All right. Kugra. Kugra doesn't feel any more pressure on this door. Hmm. How curious is Kugra? I mean... This, yeah, because this character type things. Like, is he curious or not a curious person? Hmm. You know what? Uh, has he got anything about being curious in his uh personality traits and shit? Uh, oh, that's good. No. I'm going to say not very. Okay, then he's just going to keep holding the door, waiting for his friends. Okay. Unfortunately. Well, Valoran, you're up. I'm going to use my maximum movement of three squares, and I'm going to cast Firebolt at the remaining uh, fish guy. Send it. Yep. 
Yep. And that's me. A streak of fire bursts out from your hand and reaches this target as uh, it, it slams into the shoulder, throwing him slightly off balance for the moment. Ray, you're up. Okay, if I move out to here, can I... I can physically see this guy right here. Yes, you can. Okay, so I'm going to move my moonbeam just to the outside of this guy. So it's not hitting Yukina. Post your spell for me real quick, please. And thank you. I get 60 feet of movement a turn. 60 feet. Why is my measure tool not working? Uh, for you to It's 55 when I measured it. It's it's got to go around the uh, it's got to go around the the wall. It can't pass through walls. Does it still reach? And I don't I don't know how to measure that. So uh, so when you drag. Uh, when you drag it, uh, you keep holding the the left mouse button, and if you hit the right right mouse button. Yeah, it just fits. Give me one second. Huh. Well, you can use action to aim up to 60 feet direction. Okay. So, if you're putting it there, then that would mean... Give me a sec. So, where you've got that marker at the moment... You're going to want that marker at the bottom because the, the center is what you're moving, right? From the center of it. So that's where you got to measure from. Oh, okay, so yeah, yeah. Sorry, she doesn't know how to measure. My, it, so no, I'm my just, measuring yeah. tool is not working. Oh, yours isn't either? Yeah, my, mine's not working either. Otherwise, I'd be doing okay, this myself. So is it from this part or this point? Because I can't click in the middle of the sphere for some reason. There's so do that the... do that spot there that you just had the spot there okay so if we go like that is clean and then like to there all right hold that for a minute does it make it uh yeah we could move it one spot over though so he's actually in it yeah <laughs> all right does that work for you babe yeah, that's perfect. Give me that roll. Is it half uh, half damage, right? Half as much on success. Okay, so. It manages to... Uh, withstand this uh at the moment um the the radiant flame still cover its body but they don't seem to be as large and as daunting um as they had previously and then i just stepped back and that's my turn all righty Okay, my Spotify is not working properly either. My, what is happening? Roll twenty is making my computer so slow. I can't even load any web pages. Um, so you might be there. Was there's settings you can change, but if that doesn't work, uh, Firefox. Firefox is uh, one of the other ones it recommends using, and most people that have issues that move to Firefox for Roll Twenty seems to have zero issues. Okay, that's good uh, to know. The the settings, I, I can't remember what they are offhand, though. But my Spotify is not fucking working right either. Like, I can't fucking turn shuffle off or turn it on. I can't uh, can't put repeat on or off. 
Give me a sec. I'm going to reopen that. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. apparently I finished the playlist. That's why. It was playing random shit. Gotcha. All right. Uh, so it did take the damage. Yes. Uh, anything else? Nope. That's it. Yeah, I know what these are going to do. What's your movement speed? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, wow. They have some speed to them, huh? Okay. Um, guys, are they? Oh, they're tiny. That's awesome. Uh, doors crack so he gets advantage. Zin, Val, and Ray, from inside this room somewhere, you hear a door smash open. And as you hear footsteps stepping out, um, metal boots on their feet, you hear, Blasted creature, I told you you wouldn't keep me for long. What is this glowing light? Uh, he steps out. Uh, no, actually, he's not going to go any further. He sees the drake. Um, Yukon is bleeding from the top of her head, and he's like, Oh, oh lord, that's... uh." Let there be a dragon. And he's, uh, you hear the metal boots kind of recede a little bit. And some wood getting shoved around as he tries to barricade himself back in. Oh, this is awesome. So, Kugra? Can make a perception. Everybody else can make it at disadvantage. Okay. Ouch. Double ouch. Oops. Uh, Ray, you hear a click, and this iron gate suddenly begins to slowly swing open. Out steps a mind flare. You know this because you've seen one before. Tentacles squirming. And you hear in all of your uh, all of your heads. You have come and interrupted my work. I don't like to be interrupted. <clears throat> Let 
Let's see. Who can he see right now? 60 feet, huh? What's this one? Give you a measure. I'm exactly 50, 60 feet away, so you can see me too. Oh, he sure can. I'll blame a kiss. Except I didn't perceive him, so never mind. You don't have a choice. Yeah, but I think you heard him in your head because I think he spoke to all of us. Definitely heard him. Definitely heard him. Oh. Oh. And what is his save? <laughs> hey, Zen. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Ignore the disadvantage. Yeah, seven. You fail, sir. Oh, wait. You have advantage on charm, don't you? Oh, yeah. it is. If it's charmed, then yes, I have advantage on all charmed effects. All right, hold on. He, mind flayers have a lot of dealings with drow, so let's give him a history check. Yeah, he's he's aware that you are not as susceptible to his charms, so he's going to aim it at Ray. Since I screwed up and Ray, you uh, I know you've got a higher wisdom. I'm gonna aim it at you. Give me a wisdom save, please. Okay, one second. Okay. <clears throat> you hear in your mind only, Ray. Kill the winged one. And at first, you, you feel an urge to do as this voice is telling you. Um, but you spin and you look at this creature dead in the eye. And as you are not affected, would you like to say something? All I'll do is like a, like a hiss, All and right. then that's it. The whip, the whip. Uh, I need your damage again for the uh, creature in your moonbeam, please. All right, con. Wow, just barely a fail. It it shouts as it begins to move out of the moonbeam. Um and it gets to here. Just outside, it, it turns on uh, 
you can uh Wow. Fuck you can his AC. <laughs> <clears throat> it misses with both uh, the pincer and the bite. Zen, it is your turn. Okay. Um, on a scale of one to dead, how hurt is the guy in the top right? Mm, he's looking bloody-ish. Hmm. Okay. Can't can't give you a one to ten scale because yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Um, fuck, I hate elithids. Um, I'm gonna use my ring of spell storing to cast haste on myself. Sure. Um, wait, wait. Before I do that, does that count as concentration or not for through the ring? Yep. Oh, it does? Okay. I think so. You, give me a I... second to check, but I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah. Because I don't know if it acts like oh, that's weird. You know what I mean? I can't cast a spell. Uh, spell use a slot level, spell save, DC, spell attack bonus, and spell casting ability of the original caster. Uh, but it's otherwise treated as if you cast the spell. So yes, uh, concentration. Okay. Um, so maybe instead... Can we drink potions with a bonus action or only full action? Um, it is bonus action. Always been a bonus action. But if you use your action, you get the full effect. Uh, if it is a oh, sorry, I mean potion. like any type of potion. So like, say potion of speed is that an action? Um, we have done that in the past. I have recently found that it is way too overpowered. Uh, so I think what the rule is going to be, if everybody's okay with it, uh, changing it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we should have health potions are the only ones that can be drank on bonus action unless the potion yep. itself states that. Just because I, I, I found it's been a little overpowered. So. Yeah, yeah, we haven't used speed on this campaign, so I'm totally cool with that. And I agree, it seems OP, which is why I wasn't asking. Um, okay, then instead of that, I will take one shot at this guy. Okay. Uh, well, after, I'll first I'll holster my sword with my free object interaction. Okay. And then I will take a shot at that guy. Uh, sorry, I gotta get rid of the advantage disadvantage thing. Fifteen. Yep. Okay. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, and I will shoot him again. Yep. Sixteen. He is looking ragged as these two arrows sink into him. Uh, he's got one in each shoulder. <clears throat> and he's really not looking good. He's kind of staggering a little bit. Trying to hold himself up. <laughs> uh, question. Can I move Hunter's Mark from a target before they hit zero? Mm, I think they have to die, but let me check. Target. See. Yeah, yeah. So uh, the target has to hit zero before I can use the bonus action to move it yeah. to a new target. Okay, so then that will be my turn, and then you can double bite. Yeah. So close. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I keep screwing up. Damn it, I forgot to do it. Forgot to do what? Uh, use Drake Reaction on my turn. Yeah. But that's it then. Um, you can uh, leaps up and takes a, a bite out of this thing's side. Uh, sinks deep. Um, 
if their physiology and anatomy are the same as yours, it probably bit into uh, the appendix area as as it attacks him. Uh, the creature is kind of like trying to push uh, Yukina off, which Yukina eventually releases, but this creature is looking uh, like it's definitely on its last leg. Shit, last scale, man. <laughs> <laughs> Kugra hears the voice, and I believe he rolled well on his perception, right? Kugra, yeah, yeah. Uh, he rolled a 12. Oh, did he? I thought he rolled higher. No, nope. oh, he rolled 12. Um, you know what? Give me another perception from Kugra. As Cougar's trying to hold this door, he, he didn't hear uh, the iron gate start to open. What he does hear, however, is the voice in his head, as well as skittering on the ground. As he looks behind him, uh, I, yeah, this creature isn't in his view. However, this one is. He he's, turns his head and he notices... This little creature looks like a brain skittering quickly across the floor on four spindly legs. Like spiders. Legs. Okay, well, if he hears it, he's going to try to get at that animal or creature thing. Uh, so he'll step to here, I guess. Because that's 5, 15, 25 feet. Okay. Uh, wait. From there, five, ten, fifteen. And then ten and. Oh, not rough terrain. Uh, this one here isn't the the ooze is barely okay. in the square. So... so we hit ten there. So I'm at twenty feet. So yeah, I could technically move five more feet down. Five. Down. No, you only hit fifteen feet. You were here, so that's five feet, and then ten feet oh, okay. to get there. Got it. Understood. Perfect. Um, can I attack this guy? Yeah. Okay. Um, quick question. I've never used Divine Smite. In the so... words of Savage, send it. So when I attack, <laughs> if it hits, I choose to put Divine Smite on? Is that how that works? Uh, yes. Yeah, you hit first, okay. and then if you want to add Divine Smite, then you add the Divine Smite. Okay, and then just normal weapon attacks, right? Yes. Okay, so if he's using his battle axe like this, right? Jesus! Oh my god! Yeah, you want to smite? Then, <laughs> yeah, so, so now I smite, right? Yeah, yeah, so so check the smite boxes. Yeah, there you go. Uh, fuck, you want to describe what happens to this creature? Yeah, I mean, so Cougar's pushing at the door. All of a sudden, he hears the skittering, spins around quickly, and like takes a couple big leaps towards this creature, bringing his battle axe down straight on it. And this big explosion of light comes straight from the skull of the, the, the creature, sizzling its insides. Okay. The uh, then... crispy brain drops to the ground. Uh, the spindly legs he kind of rolls uh, onto the top of his brain and the the, the legs quickly um, almost envelop it as they just kind of curl inwards sweet uh, so you said I have 20 feet so I can move two spaces towards the lithid then or is that something in front of it uh, that is something that is a light that is a purple light hanging uh from the roof. Okay, so that does not going to get in my way then. No. Okay. Get him. <clears throat> Send it. Yeah. Okay, and then this one's going to be a level two smite. Okay, 31? Yep. 
Yeah, as uh, Kugra rushes in and slams this creature with his axe, uh, a radiant light bursts forth. Um, and you can all hear, oh, in your head uh, as he kind of like shields his eyes uh, after taking the hit. He staggers back a second before righting himself. Um, and there's not much paladins can do with a bonus action, correct? Um, Sorry, sometimes to get it depends what spells stuff. they took, for the most part. Uh, I think that'll be good enough for him for now. I'll keep reading. Sorry. Hey, Valoran. Go you... ahead. So he's got a meter beat of 15, or he is held in stasis. My god, I can see why so many DMs banned fucking Chronergy Wizards. Oh my god. What type of what type of save is that even? A con save. I'm here for it, man. I'm loving this. I love it if you oh! fail. <laughs> he does not! That sucks. Oh no. Silvery barbs. Can I use Chronal Shift on that? Uh, post Chronal Shift. Let's see what it says. And damn it, Ray! <laughs> Don't encourage him! He's my team member! I got stuff! Alright, uh, his reaction after you are a creature you see within 30 feet, he makes attack roll, ability check, or saving throw, force the creature to re-roll. Nope, out of range. 30 feet! Oh! Oh, 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 thank god. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, fair is fair, man. I can't do it. Oh, fuck balls. Um, oh, yeah, shit's about to get real. Yeah, I know, I know. Um, shit balls, shit balls, shit balls. Um, damn, I was really hoping that would hit, but it didn't. Um, give me one sec, I gotta think for a sec. All right, I'm going to use uh, frickin' uh, Misty Step. Or actually, how high is the roof in here? Can I fly or must I walk? Um, I Why think... can't you use Silvery Barbs, by the way, on that one? Uh, he didn't ask to use. He, he asked about Chronal Shift. Oh, oh okay. Question. Let's look at Silvery Barbs. God damn it! Oh, yeah, 60 feet. Ah, uh, if it succeeds yeah, on an attack roll, which I didn't, but it still succeeded on a saving throw. Trigger creature turn its uh, imagine. Uh, this is master roll a d twenty. You can oh, right, and choose a different creature you see within range. Hold on a sec. Trigger creature and its momentary uncertainty. Uh, Trigger creature must re-roll the d twenty and use the lower roll. Ah. Uh... But I'd already said I'll use Misty Step, so you can definitely hold me to that if you want. No. He failed. You originally wanted to use Silver Rebarbs, but you didn't think that you could, so then you went with the other one. But he now failed. That you can... He failed. He failed. It's the same question. Can I fly or must I walk? Um, I was still... I, I, I was getting that. Oh. I, I haven't had time right. to look it up, and then I, I, I forgot. Sorry, sorry. I forgot. My bad, sorry. Uh, I believe this thing had... I want to say it was like 10 feet, but I don't remember. Uh, I think this room is like 20 feet. We're going to go with 20 feet for the center rooms here. Okay, then I'm going to... fly my happy ass right over there, which I think is out of sight of most of the other enemies, and that'll be me. And he's, what, stunned, right? Yeah, basically, unless he takes damage, he can't do anything uh, until the beginning of his next turn. Okay. Yeah, all right. 
Ray, it's your turn. Went to my next turn, excuse me, sorry. That's okay. I would like to move my moonbeam right here. I already measured. It's right in the like farthest I can move it. And then I'm just going to go with Val and be like, boop. And that's it. And also, just fun fact, he can't see through the moonbeam because it's a solid ray of light. So technically, Zen is out of sight. Doesn't say it's opaque. Um, I'm just reading. So am I. Uh, no. So basically how I would envision this is uh, like sun shining through a, um, a break in a, a forest canopy. Okay. Because basically what, what does the damage is not the fact of the, the, um, the actual light itself. It's just, that's basically the target area. It just kind of shines down, and then the target is covered in, in what's, what it specifically says is ghostly flames. Okay, sounds good. So that one is going to get to there. Oh, wait. All right, that one gets to there. This one's going to go there. I'm going to have this intellect of our make a intelligence check. Yeah, it knows. Hey, Valoran. Yes. Did you know that intellect of ours can actually be pretty smart? And he's going to damage the what you made it. Yeah, he is. And he hits. Valorant, you feel your your momentary stasis kind of fade. Um, from where you are, you're you're near the corner. You can kind of peek your head around, and you see the creature kind of begin to come more tense. And he looks up, and you can hear him laughing in your head. So that's that one's turn. That one dashed. This one's going to attack Cougar, though. Oh, wow. Hey, uh, Cougar. Yeah. I'm going to put this one in chat for you guys. I need a intelligence saving throw from Kukra, please.
Oh, the plus three is ignore the plus three. That's divine smite. You just made it. Sweet. The guard captain um, bursts back through the door, um, hearing that most of the combat is left and is going to attack this uh, Kuatoa. However, he is unarmed, so. Wow, yeah, no, he uh, he comes out and swings, and as this thing staggers to the side, he full-on, like, Hail Marys, but misses, and ends up sprawled on the floor a few feet away. The Mind Flayer. The Mind Flayer. Who is stunned, right? No, he's he not. He was. Now he's not. He took damage oh, it... from one of his own guys, so he's free to act. Oh, okay. Did not know that that's how that spell worked. Yeah. Savage pulled a sneaky. I pulled a sneaky. That's not going to happen very often, but when you're fighting extremely intelligent creatures, uh, especially oh, no, ones. Cool, totally fair. Totally yeah, fair. I, I, I'm, I mean, it's, I'm just explaining it anyways for my own, my own sake. Uh, an intel a extremely intelligent creature, especially one uh, that is around something that understands uh, charmed effects and uh, stuns and such like that. I mean, uh, they'll try to get them out. So that is there. Uh, we are going to do something really, really fun. He is going to aim it at I want my cone back. If I do that, I'm going to lose all of my fucking stat blocks I opened. Oh, there it is. And now, now it's gone again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, does he need to be able to see targets for this attack? Emit psychic energy in 60-foot cone. Each creature in the area... No, he doesn't. Because he's of his psionics. Okay. Everybody! Intelligent saving throw, please. Okay. Wow, it suddenly got fucking hot in here, man. What what is that plus three that keeps coming about? Uh, aura of protection. protection. So he should have that what plus that? three, I think. Oh, okay. uh, if you look in his, um, it it, uh, it might be the one that he gets to add to saves. So if you want to take a look in his feats, just look for the aura of protection. Oh, I see it. Global save modifier. Understood. Okay, sorry. That was. I'm still trying to. There's a lot to read, you know. And you might want to check to make sure that's in his feet section. That's not a spell that was checked. I can't remember. But I think they have that. Understood. Wow. Valoran is the only one who succeeded. I think they get her to level six. For whatever that's worth. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, Savage, can I use my reaction to absorb elements? Um, absorb elements only works on, well, what, what damage does it work on? It says the less than some of the energy shot at me and then says resistance to the trigger type until the start of your next turn. So it doesn't say state type. 
uh, first time you were hit with a melee attack next turn, or first time I hit with a melee attack next turn, I get an extra D6. So it just halves. I get... You know what? Up, uh, acid, cold, fire, lightning, or thunder. So no, does not work here. Yeah, unfortunately, no. Um, it's weird that they split it up that way, not in the description. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, so I take the full amount. Yep. Valoran, you... Take no damage. And Valoran, you are currently the only one besides Yukina not stunned. For okay. one minute, you guys can... Uh, Wait, that causes stun? Cooper gets advantage then. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll, sh I'll post it. Psionic Fortitude. Okay. And DC passes. is 15, so yes. Okay, so he doesn't take the damage. Nope, and he's not stunned. Uh, Ray and Zinn both take damage and are stunned. Yep. Uh, at the end of each of your turns, though, you can uh, re-roll it to see if you can get out of it. To a total whip. Is going to use his probably last attacks. Uh, the pincer is a fail. However, the bite is a hit. Yep. You can take seven piercing damage. Uh, as this thing is flailing, trying to save its own life. Uh, you can kind of like leaps to the side a little bit uh, as the pincer staff comes in and it misses. Uh, but the creature gets a chunk of an ear with the bite. Zen, you're up. Okay. Um, so I can't do anything on my turn. So end of my turn, I roll a intelligence saving throw, correct? Yep. Nope. Ugra. He's pissed. Um, he's swinging on this um, mind flare lifted thing. Yup. Uh, Divine Smite level two. Okay. And then he gets another attack. Yep. Another level two divine smite. This creature uh shouts. It's uh it, it definitely seems pained. And that's his turn. Valorant. Sorry, Cougar. I really feel bad about this. <laughs> Wrong one. That's the one. As you begin to cast Fireball, it's it, prick. It sputters. And then it dissipates as he counterspells. Sweet passage. Well, that's all I had. Shit. Um, I'll move back over. Free action. I can't do anything like push Ray, can I? Or would that have any effect? Um, I mean, you could definitely push her, but she's stunned. She's just gonna fall over. Oh, okay, so there's nothing I can do to unstun her. No, unfortunately, this is not like your ability. This is a, a psychic stun. Got it. Okay, well, that's me then. Ray, you may reroll your saving throw, Intelligence. Got 
God damn, Ray. You uh you kind of shake your head clear and things are a fuzzy a bit fuzzy for a moment. Um unfortunately that is the end of your turn, but next turn you are ready to roll. Okay. At least I hope you're about ready to roll because this creature comes around the corner. It comes straight for you. Roll me another intelligence saving throw, please. Does my fey luck count for this? What is your fey luck? Saving throw. Yep. Roll your d6. Wow! Wow! Wow. As it charges up behind you, Ray, um, you feel it, tr something trying to dig into the, your brain. Uh, at first it begins to hurt, and then once again you kind of shake it free. Uh, and you kind of look over your shoulder to see an intellect of hour behind you. You do not take any damage. Thou shalt not pass! <laughs> All right, I, I, this one's long. I got to read this real quick. Oh. Kugra. Intelligent saving throw. God damn it. That's a pass. A Kugra. Dillion <laughs> saving throw. Damn it. Oh, that's the... Oh, yeah, no, that's the right one. Damn! Holy fuck! Okay. Kugra's smarter than we all thought. Apparently. He's just got that mental fortitude. As this creature, uh, this man stands back up, he charges back at uh, Uato a whip again. Oh shit, he crit. Let's go. You can watch this as this man stands back up, charges back at this Kuatoa, and he just runs right by him, full force, just this m most massive Hail Mary punch. Uh, you can, uh, can hear the crack of this creature's skull as the eye pops from the socket before collapsing to the ground dead. Damn. He is then going to uh, run over to a small chest uh, over in the corner, and he's going to start pulling out his gear. The Mind Flayer rolls a d6 to see if he gets his wave back. He does. He does. He's going to Mind Blast again. Same four of you. Intelligent saving throw, please. Sin, you are unaffected.
Kugra is unaffected. God damn, man. Kugra's rolling fire, bro. I know. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ray, unfortunately, you take yeah, damage. You oh, wait. Oh, no, 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 nothing, nothing, nothing. Valoran and Ray, you each take 20 damage. Psychic. And are stunned. For one minute. Reroll saves the end of your turn. What's that, Valoran? Guess what that's for. Wolf, wolf. What's that for? Lycanthropy. <laughs> uh, did you... Did you save? I did. The DC was 12. Okay. The DC goes up one. Yep. Uh, Kuto Whip is dead. Zen. Hey, hey. Um, bonus action to move my Hunter's Mark to uh, this dude. Is he within range? Um, I think it's 60 feet. Let me double check. So he should be. He's currently 65 feet away from you. Uh, okay, well, I'll step. Uh, there we go. And then I'll uh, do it. Hunter's Mark? Oh, and sorry, range is 90 feet, by the way. Oh, okay. Sorry, not, not, yeah, so never mind. I will stay where I was. He is now marked. And then uh, I'm going to blast him. Or attempt to, at least. That's a hit. Uh-huh. All right, then I'll do it again. Um, can, can I use Drake Reaction on this one? Because he can see me. Um, post your Drake reaction real quick. Yeah, I think so, but uh, infused strikes. Well, oh, I just rolled damage on it. Shoot. That's fine. It it rolls automatically. Oh, you can okay. see hits a target with a weapon attack. Yeah. Sick. Okay, so I won't roll the damage because it's there, and then I'll just roll the rest of it. So twenty. Creatures looking uh, really hurt as your two arrows say, Oh, oh, you will not interrupt my experiments. Bonus action. Bonus action was used to move Hunter's Mark. I'm right. just going to move around the corner. Okay. So I can't get attacked. Uh, and then Yukina is just going to start charging in because original attack. That's it. Okay. I guess she can she dash when I control or no? Uh yeah. It's an action. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Ray, your moonbeam is gone. I forgot that she got stunned. Oh yeah, no worries. Okay, and that's her turn. Then Kugra is just gonna keep going on Hamtown at this point. Sure. That's a no. Yeah, yeah, and I got rid of advantage. She doesn't have that. And then one more. That uh, is also a hit. no. Dang, Kugra. Your luck has run out, sir. That's his turn. Okay. Valoran? I can't believe I am stunned, right? You are. Give me that intelligence save. Still stunned. Wow. Yeah, you're stunned. That's me. Hey, Ray. 
at the end of your turn, you once again shake off the, uh, the effects of this creature's attack. Okie doke. Kugra, intelligence saving throw. Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Yes, intelligence saving throw. Wow. Wow. Kugra just cannot miss, bro. He cannot miss. He's like focused on the mines. <laughs> Ugra. <laughs> Intelligent saving throw. I'm gonna get him, damn it. Oh shit, there we go. So that is eleven. Yeah. And their save is eleven? Because it's just the little guys, right? Uh their save is not eleven. Oh, I thought it said eleven in the one you posted up earlier. Close. It says twelve. He takes six psychic damage, and I would Wait, like for that. Would that make him stunned? No, this is uh, this is different. Okay, I have to ask because that's the advantage thing, right? Okay, so he takes how much? Six psychic damage, <laughs> and I would like you to roll me a three d six, please. Oh no. How much intelligence does he have? His intelligence is 12. Okay, so I'm going to post this once more for you guys. I want you to read where it says roll 3d6 and down. Yeah, it just says when it's reduced to zero, the target is stunned until it regains at least one point of intelligence. So that doesn't affect his saving throw, though. His special? Uh, do, 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 do. Target's intelligence score. I'm going to say no. On saving throws to Be make or avoid or end, end uh, avoid or end the charmed or stunned condition on yourself. So with this one, uh, it's because he was reduced to zero. This is not the same okay. as just like being stunned. This is technically, I don't know why it says uh, stunned. He should be dead. Because if you have zero intelligence, you, you have no brain activity. Well, intelligence is just smart. So you would just be stupid. I don't no, think that would one, have anything to do with one your would, health. No, no. Any the the mechanics in the game are if any of your stat is reduced to zero, you are dead. I don't know multiple voters with zero intelligence and they're still alive. So basically, like he needs a machine to breathe right now, that kind of stun. So there has to be a way to remove that, which I will let you guys do medicine checks uh, if you'd like to try and figure out how you could possibly do that. But currently, he is, he is like, down. That doesn't even make sense to me. It, it is part of the game mechanics. If you have zero brain activity, the only way your body stays alive is, in real life, is if you have a machine breathing for you. Like, that's not even coma. That is brain dead. That's what that is. Same as if your strength is reduced, reduced to zero, that means you don't have the strength to breathe. If your constitution gets reduced to zero, uh, you, you basically have zero immune system and you're out in the open air. You're going to die. Uh, that, that is simply how the mechanics of the game work. It just seems silly that it says the word stun, but then it actually is, is downing you. Like it, that, That's where it doesn't make sense to me is like the word stun... And I agree. You would be stunned like we are stunned, not dead. That doesn't make sense. That's that. That's why I'm confused why it says that. 
It, it should say... You know what? Hold on a sec. I wonder if I changed it because I didn't want to kill you guys. Give me a second. I'm going to look up the actual stat block. No. It, it says stunned. It shouldn't, though. Because the, the game rules are... Hold on a sec. I will find them. Okay, so um, this is how it works. I, I was wrong. It's only Constitution makes you dead. So I will post this. I'll copy and post this. This is how somebody else is explaining the rule. Uh, where is the intellect one? Oh, yeah, so they're in a comatose. Because their intelligence is zero. Exactly. Uh, so that was his two. Next one is going to go for Valorant. Cool. Already stunned. Yeah. Do and, damage. And he knows that, so he's going to actually just make a, a claw attack against you. Cool. Because he's seen you throwing spells all over the place. Wow! <laughs> oh, he has advantage. What's your AC? Seventeen. Yeah, he uh, he still manages to somehow miss you. Apparently, in your stun, you're kind of swaying a bit. I guess. City Watch Captain is gonna have to spend his turn grabbing all of his stuff. The Mind Flayer. Seeing Kugra comatose. Zin is around the corner. He sees Yukino, though. Let's see if he gets his other thing back. He does not get it back. Uh, he is going to... That's a long spell. I don't want to read that right now. Okay, that's specifically humanoids, so I think he's going to have to use Phantasmal Force. Ooh. Actually, he's not. He's going to use this on Kugra. Uh, extract brain. He has advantage. The creature begins to uh, use his tentacles to burrow into Kugra's uh, face. Um, I guess nobody but you can, can see this currently. It starts to burrow into his face, and he takes 36 uh, piercing damage. As it begins to reach for his brain. Zin, you are up. Yep, so I'm just going to pop around the corner here. And I'm going to start shooting that lifted dude. Uh... 16. Nope. Okay. I'm going to shoot again. Yep. 
Drake reaction. Okay. He's in. 24. Yeah. He goes back to full HP. I'm just kidding. You want to describe what happens? Oh my god, thank god. Um, um, yeah, um, I'm just like, I'm like bobbing and weaving around this corner, just peeking around the corner, firing arrows. Some are missing, some are hitting, and then one catches him, like, through one side of his head and goes, like, dead into the center of his skull. Okay. I think he's been waiting for this moment, maybe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we all have. Hate elephids. Hate them. It collapses on top of Kugra's unconscious body. The tentacles uh, slowly, as, as, it, as this creature collapses on top of them and starts to roll off to the side, the tentacles exit the face with a slurping sound. Um, the wounds on his face are still there. But, you know, being comatose, at least you can't feel it. Pardon? I said with him being comatose, at least he can't feel it. Oh, yeah, that's that's fair. Um, that, then I'll use my bonus action to move my hunter's mark to uh, one of these dudes. Uh, this one? Yeah, because I can see that guy. Okay. Um, and then and then you can as noticing that the companion is getting attacked is going to head back towards the uh, the other two 30 40 feet there um who's fight yeah so oh, yeah, that was you, 20 feet okay. 20 feet but she has 40 yeah. Sorry, I didn't, Sorry, I didn't look I, where I should, she started. Yeah. It was just the way you were counting. I was like, uh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, so I said 5, 10, 15, 20. I was like, oh, that's 40. Uh, okay. So I did it weird. That works. That works. Full send. Uh, that is a hit. Okay. It is still standing, but she does take a chunk out of it. In fact, she breaks off one of its legs. Nice. Red blood starts to spurt from the leg. That's all I got. He is comatose until somebody finds a way to restore him a little bit. Uh, that you are freed, Valor, and at the end of your turn, you break free. I'm pretty sure his DC for that was 15. Woohoo. Just check real quick. Pretty sure it was. Yep, 15. You manage to break free. Um, suddenly you realize that I there is... I break free! Or, there is a... a soundboard. Oh, God. My, my soundboard is now full for my server, unfortunately. That's why you got me. <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you notice Yukina is charging at this creature and has just ripped a leg off. Um, but that is the end of your turn. Ray. Okay, one moment, please. Yeah, you broke free at the end of your last turn, right? Yes, I did. Okay, so I would totally like to do this. Okay, so your girl's gonna drop down this unicorn totem. Unicorn! And then I'm going to... Oh, it already does it. Hey, hey, just kidding. Then I am going to use my staff of healing to use mass cure wounds. Okay. Right. 
Um, one second. But he gets 18 plus 7, so 25, uh, except Kugra, who's outside of the area. Um, and that's it. Just a little tiny baby turn, no big deal. Much appreciated. I got you. Uh, Cougar can get the 18, though. I think. Sounds Hold on a sec. Cool. Uh, wave of healing. I need to watch this out from you. Oh, uh, 30 foot radius. Yeah, so... it's a 30 foot radius. Okay, then no, sorry. Cougar can't get the 18. Apologies. Yeah, it was basically either me or him. And I chose me. So these things have an ability where they cannot actually see any creatures with an intelligence of three or lower. Lower, so they leave Kugra alone and go straight for that group up top. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Hey Ray, what is your intelligence? Eleven. Give me your intelligence. Man, those guys can move so far. That's crazy. Yep. Oh wait, hold on a sec. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. He, like, that one or dashed. Or do they not get affected? That one dashed. Oh. oh yeah, no, they don't get affected by that. Oh, okay. Um, but they that one did dash its next ray. So Ray, ignore that. Uh, Yukina, though. No, not Yukina. Oh, it has to make an intelligence save, right? Yep. No. Oh, God. Sixteen psychic damage. And give me three D six. What's her intelligence at? It is now below zero. Comatose. Uh, this one up here is going to, hey Val, did you add that HP that you got? Not yet, I went to the bathroom. Oh, okay. 
Sorry, priorities. Well, add your HP and then uh, give me intelligence saving throw. Womp womp. Take 12 psychic damage. Um, I want Ray to roll me 3d6. Dude, that is so cocked. <laughs> that that middle five was like I mean, was like on, on the corner. The four? <laughs> no, I'll take it. Oh, I mean, I'll take the four. Excellent. Also, a creature if total equals or exceeds targets. Okay, so, and nothing happens other than you take damage. Wait, do you take damage? Target succeeds, intelligence saving throw. Oh, no, you don't take any damage either. My apologies. This guy comes, uh, he's going to have to continue putting on his armor for the moment. That one is dead. Zen. Yeah. Um, well, I'm going to shoot at the one that I have marked right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, no Drake reaction. 13. Uh, it's still up. Fourteen. Describe. Uh, no, you can. Sure. Um, you pierce uh two arrows directly into this thing's brain. However, as the uh, second arrow pierces, it goes straight through, pinning a large chunk of the brain that rips off uh into the wall. Love it. Bonus action. Move Hunter's Mark. All right. And then I'm done. I see what you did there, Knight. <laughs> Valoran? So Zen was shooting at the one above me, yes? Uh-huh. I will cast Magic Missile at the second level. Okay. Get back to the right screen. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, three, five, seven, nine. And that was the one north of you? Yep. So as these, uh, bolts or, or darts of, uh, purple energy swirl out in a oval away from you and they come right back down in front of you, um, hitting this creature, um, you see indents form in this brain, and it's kind of staggering. Um, little spots of blood seem to be spurting from this brain-like creature. Ray. Hi. You're up. Um, can I tell which one is, like, visibly more fucked up? That one, without a doubt. Okay, I'm going to bonk him. Bonk. The bonk connects. Uh -huh. 
Wait, wait, wait. Can I use my Fey luck? Um, I mean, you hit. Oh, okay. I, I was confused. Okay, I'm fine. You want to describe that bonk? Um, you know, like when you squeeze like a gusher and like all the goo comes out? That's what happens like when you smash a watermelon. Uh, yeah. You you bring your staff up and you bring it directly down on the top of this thing. Uh, it slams downwards into the ground. Its legs go straight out to the sides and they twitch as the brain just goes squish. Uh, shooting blood uh, in all directions. As I do this, I do like a God of War yell because I am over it. <laughs> yeah, you are. All right, you got anything else? Um, um, how do you get intelligence back? Um, you are currently unaware of of what is wrong with Kugra. You can't see him. You don't even know he's where he is currently. But what about Yukina? Yeah, you can see Yukina. Um, you'd have to get over to her and do a medicine check. From where you are right now, you're you're too in the in the heat of combat to know what's wrong with her. Okay, then I will end my turn. Or wait, actually, I'm gonna use a healing word on the group. <laughs> okay. Oh, um, and then if I have to target someone, I will target Val. Oh, good. But thank you. Okay. Well, just so everyone can also get the benefits, too, just to make sure we're tippity-top. Okay. Well, you get 15. Like... Everybody else uh, gets 7. Except Kugra. Poor Kugra way down there. I'm sorry, who? I said everybody gets fifteen. I know I was joking. Oh. No, sorry. I said I said poor Kugra. Oh. I'm Oh, the who. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the one time I actually made a name for an NPC and nobody ever remembers it. The one that killed him, bro. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Kinda. So are house plants. <laughs> and vegetables. Man, like I don't even know what to say to that one. Damn. Uh this one is going to let's see. He is simply going to uh, attack Ray, I think. Actually. Oh, thanks for the biddies there, Knight. Appreciate that, my guy. Uh, have a good day at work, my dude. Um... You can, uh, intelligence check, please. Oh, no. Nothing happens. Zen, you're up. Um, if I step here, can I see this thing? Uh, you can. It's tiny. Um, so it is going to have some extra AC to it for cover. That is fair. Bonus action, Hunter's Mark. Okay. 
Um, no. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Get it. <clears throat> 14? You managed yep. to weave your arrow in between um, Valoran and Ray's legs and sink one into this creature. It's... It's... Uh, I almost said screels. It makes some sounds. But it is still up. It's just where I say you okay. got a pretty mouth. That's my that's my turn. Jesus Christ. Sorry, man. <laughs> oh. No. <laughs> Oh, or emotional fuck. damage. That one's good too. Uh, Valorant, you're up. Well, having just had an arrow shot between his legs, Val's going to, with one hand, adjust his package northwardly, and with the other hand, cast magic missiles at the second level against the brain thing. I'm imagining this like a Michael Jackson moment, just grabbing his crotch, exactly. shifting it as he puts his hand out. <laughs> I love it. Holy fuck. Fuck. Yeah, so, I love our group. It's the best. Uh, yeah, that uh, that's gonna do it. You want to describe that? I defer to you, sir. All right, Ray. Out of nowhere, behind you, um, on either side of you, comes two um purple little darts that sh shoot out around the sides of you and coalesce directly into this creature in front of you, um. Yeah, there, there's there's no escaping this, Ray. This thing, as all four of these hit and converge on it, this brain-like creature explodes into mist. Ray, you are absolutely covered in blood. And with that, we are out of combat order, but we are going to take our five-minute break because I need to run to the bathroom and stuff before we continue. So... Everybody, we will be right back in just a few minutes. Sounds good. Sounds good.
Hmm. All right. Wow. As combat ends, you all look around. You see Yukina unconscious, barely breathing. You guys see Kugra. See him on the ground, but beyond that, you can't tell what's wrong with him from this distance. Um, you hear a uh, metal footsteps rushing out. Uh, he gets to this doorway and stops, looking at uh, Dreads. Your or wow, Zin. You are not currently looking that way, but you hear the steps, and as you start to turn, the man stops, raises his shield, and puts up a sword. You'll let me go, demon elf. You will let me go. I will walk right out of here. Uh, he does seem Zin. ready for a fight. <clears throat> Zin chuckles, you fool, can't you see the people who just saved your life? I ain't never known a dark elf to save nobody unless it was for their own gain. Slavery is common among your people, is it not? It's a good thing I'm only half then, isn't it? You see him kind of, um, kind of shift his head to the side to look. Um, Hmm. He visibly relaxes. Uh, he doesn't put his shield down, but he lowers his weapon. Yes, I... Fairly certain your kind, I guess, would also be... used as slaves to the other half of your kind. So what is it you are all doing down here? Well, you see, we have some business with Xanathar, and not the, uh, the bright kind of business. Hmm. What is your name, stranger? Wouldn't it be customary to give yours before asking for somebody else's? Oh, geez. This is Zen. I'm Val. That's Ray. I like how Val's like, huh, we're not starting another fight. <laughs> no, I don't have it right now. He says, uh, he kind of eyes uh, you, Zen, and he looks past and uh, regards um, Valoran and says, uh, Hyustus Staggett. I'll put that in chat for you all. I forgot to turn back down Spotify after I came back. All right. He says, uh, I am... What brought you here, Hyastus? Well, I wasn't exactly brought here by choice, of course. Uh, you can definitely see um, on uh, his hand that's holding the sword. Uh, he's got blood all over his his knuckles. He's uh, bruises are there uh, even across his face. He's got several bruises and um, one extremely black eye, uh, nearly swollen shut. Wow. They brought me down here because I refused to help them. Would you like to get some revenge for that? I I would, but I have something more important. I need to deliver a message. He he stops for a moment. Uh, one, one, one second. And he seems to search in one little pocket for, for something. Pulls out a piece of parchment. And he sets it against a stone wall. Um, 
he pulls out a small, very, very tiny ink pot and quill. He pops the top and he dips the quill in as he uh, is holding the ink pot with his left hand, which is holding a paper up to the wall. And he scribbles something very quickly. He then blows on it to dry the ink, folds it up, and places it in the same pouch as he puts the uh, cork back in the ink pot, makes sure it's very tight, and then slides them all into the, the same like uh, little small pocket bag he's got on, on his waist. Is there a quick way out of here? Uh, yeah, back to the door with the specters. I I don't know where that is. I they had a hood on me. This is the first time I've seen the inside of the place other than inside that cell. Well, the more important part is do you think you can get past some specters by yourself? They're not dead. Um, let's What is a specter? It's not a kind of undead. Um, do you know the what a beholder is? I think you mean spectator. That's oh, just... spectator. Sorry. That's all good. Whatever it's called. Um, was not a spectator, by the way. Um, what, what it was was, was it? a there was a beholder zombie. Oh, and okay. uh. And four very large, they're called uh, gas spores. Oh, okay. Well, then I will, sorry, change that to the uh, beholder. And what what gas spores? Yes. Do I know what those are? Oh, you know what? You did, uh, you failed the roll. That's why you, you thought they were spectators. Oh, understood. Okay. I remember so that. We'll sorry, I, I, I remember that now. Yeah. <clears throat> then I'll ask him if he knows what beholder is. I. Well, they're kind of like that. Well, I guess I must be traveling with you for the next little while then. I have an important message to deliver. If I should fall in battle during our escape. This letter in this pocket. Open it, read it, and take it to the person whose name is upon it. Can you do this for me? Uh, Zin will look to the party. Um, and then he's also, are we trying to escape or are we still heading towards to the group, not to this man? That's a really good question. Uh, I'll say we may need some time to talk. I'll I'll go check on Kugra. I haven't heard or seen him for a moment. And Zen will start rushing over towards Kugra. Here, I have some medical training. Let me help. And Ray, what are you doing? Oh, I'm going to I'm going to do the same but with Yukina. All right. Ray, you can do a medicine. Um Zin and Val, you can e either both do medicine or one of you can do it at advantage you choose. Uh, it doesn't do matter me, to me. Do you, you want uh, each roll? We don't need no mans. Yeah, we'll just both of us. Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, you, buddy. <laughs> Holy uh -huh. shit. Hell yeah. Opposite ends. Good job. So, Ray and Zen, you both recognize uh, both of your friends as unconscious. Um, they do have a pulse, though faint. Uh, their chest barely rises. However, their eyes are open 
staying back blankly. Normally, there's some kind of emotion in their eyes. You see nothing. It's like they're not even there. And at this moment, you realize that both your friends are probably comatose. Do I have any knowledge of how to bring them out of a comatose? I'm just looking to find that myself. Got it. Um, who all has grid restoration on their spell list? Not in their spells right now, but in your spell list. Wizards get that? Uh, that's a good question. If they do, I don't have it. Artificer, Bard, Cleric, Druid, Ranger. Okay, so just uh, her and me. Yep, you both can do separate... Um, separate... Arcana or History. You both recognize that a greater restoration spell could potentially fix this. Do either of you have that ability? Well, maybe you haven't expressed it. Never mind. I have. I only have lesser restoration. Though you are both aware that. This spell could potentially fix your problem. You both realize that neither of you have the ability to currently cast it, as it is a more powerful spell than you have the ability to cast currently. But if we leave Cougar here, he's probably going to die. Would poofing Yukina away fix it? And then bringing her back. Um, I, well, the, uh, Savage and Crickman, I think rules is written, yes, but based on how we're RPing it, I don't know. Since you're bringing back the same one every time? Yeah, because the, that's the way we RP it, whereas before it's just a being, it's not actually a creature, right? Since the way we have been doing it, that would be a problem in this instance, yes. Um. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm going to say give me a hmm So that that was player knowledge but RP wise give me a medicine at advantage maybe or arcana at advantage Okay Damn. You don't know. Okay, I have um a question. If Zin poofs her away and brings her back and she's not better, then we could essentially poof her away so you don't have to carry her until we have the ability to fix it. Right? I think from an RP perspective, the only way I'd put her away is if we're leaving. If we're staying down, I don't think I'd poof her. Um, or I'd poof her and then worry about her later type deal. But Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you now know as a player that we don't have the ability to fix this, we have to physically carry them out. So it's like, you know what I mean? Mm. Oh, yes. From that perspective, yeah, I'd poof her. I just wouldn't be bringing her back right away because I don't have that knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You poof her and then we'll deal with it later. 
Gotcha. Okay. And then we have to carry Kugra, basically. Or we leave him. I don't think we can do that. I'm okay. just kidding. If we put his armor in a bag of holding, I can carry him. What? What is oh, your str? Okay. Oh, do you, you got the go yeah. of overstrength, don't you? Okay. I do. I was about to say a wizard that can carry a fucking dwarf, but yeah, I forgot about the Goblin of okay. Strength. Okay, okay, I like that idea. Trying to remedy my deficiencies. But I don't know but... how we can continue just three of us or four if this guard decides to stick with us through the final fight and pull this off. We all need rest anyway. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I, I would say maybe... I may just have to eat our pride retreat on this one. GTFOing it. I, I can hear you out there. P please, I, I, I need some help. Sorry, who's saying help? You hear the voice from past this open iron gate. Is it a fucking drow? Because if it is, bye. <laughs> um, Zin, <clears throat> Zin hearing this. We'll peek around, being on alert. As you oh, look in, <laughs> you notice a drow. He is chained to a um, post. He looks extremely weak. His, his uh, arms where the shackles are attached, uh, you can definitely see blood dripping down his arms. His face is swollen, scratched, cut. He has cuts all over his body um, that you can see. He basically has uh, some tattered trousers on, and that's about it. Please, uh, I, I'm, I'm no friend of these creatures. Please get me out, get me out. Um, Zin, you especially would know that uh, Drow... For a drow male to cry, either that means he is different, kind of like you and your father are, or he's cowardly in the eyes of drow. Or he's trying to trick us. You may roll <laughs> insight, you, should you wish. Are you a full drow or a half drow, sir? I'm definitely going to roll insight on him. Yeah, sure. I'm very suspicious now because we keep getting burned. Oh, not not advantage. He seems genuinely scared. Okay, it, I'll start walking towards him because the gate's up now, right? Because that's where the elithid came. It, it's it's actually open. The uh, the gate swings open. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah. <clears throat> Understood. So I'll start walking towards him. Uh, what is your name? Uh, well, first, Val, you can definitely tell by the length of his ears he is probably a full-blooded drow. Um, he answers you, Zin. I am Zybon Kazalt. I will put that in chat as well. Do I recognize Lord. the last name? No. No, you definitely do not. I wouldn't do it, Zin. It, Listen, Zin has a bleeding heart, okay? <laughs> Y'all are screwed unless you're yelling at me not to do it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not even close to you. Can I move? Okay, did you poof you can away or what is happening? I have not. The person has interrupted our conversation. I mean, you well, totally well. could have told him to hold on and deal with Cougar and, and your fallen allies first. Yeah, man. I just wanted to make sure you guys doing? knew he was there. But I mean, since you guys have already engaged uh, yo, in the Zim, RP, I'm here. Down. What are we doing? <laughs> but since we've already engaged in the, in the RP, um, no, oh, we are where we are. I'm sorry. She also has uh, it's it's a female, by the way. So she actually also has a. I'm not letting her sit there topless, cut up. <laughs> she she she's got. A, she's a woman. She's got you a can't strap. Even more can't trust her. <laughs> I mean, that's actually a fair assumption. Uh, she does have for a, that for that race, actually. Yes, she she yeah. has a uh, kind of like a tattered um, 
cloth strap around her uh, upper body in the proper places. Um, seems to be uh, st I'm strapped sorry to a chair. sorry to interrupt. The first person, Hyestus Staggett, what race are they? I was just in the washroom. Human. In fact, you guys would recognize the colors he's wearing. Um, he is part of the city guard. However, he did look, uh, his uniform looked a little more, um, although it's a little ragged at the moment. Uh, he doesn't look like your regular city guard. He looks like somebody with a rank. Understood. Uh, but this drow, uh, strapped to this chair, um, shackles uh, on her arms and feet. Um, hold on a second. What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. No, that is a male. It's another one I'm I'm thinking of that I'm reading. I misread it. Listen, this one is a male. Zybon is a male. They they brought me and my my superior, Raylan Avrandar, down here for for interrogation. As you could see, they've they've been well at work. Please, can you help me get out of here? This is not the right music for this. This is way too upbeat Disney. Aw, that's the best kind. Mm, no, not for something like this. For all times. No. Uh, Zin, Zin responds to him. He's like, so you come from a house then? Not exactly. We, uh... We're more mercenaries. Who is your superior? Sorry, oh wait, no, never mind. He said that. What was their name? I will paste it. Uh, Raylan Raylan Avrindar. Avrindar. Oh, Avrindar. Av Avrindar. And that is not the person we're looking for, right? It is not. Hmm. Uh, what is the group of mercenaries that you you align yourself with? Well, it's it was the Avrandar um, house, but now what is left of it is just a small outpost. Um, it's not even all of the family anymore. Now it's just wayward drow who have escaped the clutches of our society. And for the first time, he seems to notice your ears. Seems like you're partially one of us, though a little lighter than most. Honestly, all, all I want is to get free, find Raylan, and escape this place. But you have no gear. I care not. I've lived in the Underdark long enough that if we can escape this, this place, we can survive. And why should we trust you? We probably shouldn't. But. Works for me. But I will reward you. If you decide to help us. Can Ray kind of notice like what's taking them so long to like poof Yukina away? And she's like, what's going on down there? Just, like, yell down the hall. Yeah, by all means. You have someone else with you, I see. 
Hey, Valorant, when you enter that room, stop. Okay. There's some stuff in there that I'm going to explain in a minute. Okay. Zen, uh, you're the only one in the area that would be able to hear her. So if you want to respond, you may. Yeah, Zen will yell back. Uh, we just we just found somebody over here. Who? We're here show who? Who is it? They say their name is Zyvon Salt. Is that correct? Yep. Ray will just yell back, "Leave them and let's go." Damn, Ray's grown cold. She is over it. She's covered in blood, yukinas, like a tomato plant. Like, shit is not good. Um, Zin will turn back to Zyphon. It seems my companion doesn't want me to uh, assist you here. So what is this said reward? Seems you have more than just me to win over. I am not the superior. I just know that if we can free Raylan, she will make it worth your while. Can Val hear this? Uh, Val, you walked into the other room. Uh, in fact, we'll flash to you real quick. Okay. Um, in the middle of the room, you see a 10-foot diameter, 2-foot deep circular pool containing luminous green brine. Anything else in the room? Uh, that's what I'm getting to. Uh, okay. Okay, you guys already finished them, so they're not there. You see rusty manacles bolted to the walls. Uh, you can give me a arcana on the brine. This seems reminiscent of of the liquid that often um, intellect devours and um, and illithids? Uh, illithid um, larva normally swim in stay in, live in however you don't seem to see any uh, little squirming larva in here just appears empty it does um you would know that this i believe they call this a spawning pool then true to form i unzip fly and uh get into the pool sid give me a perception this house bad oh god sorry no advantage Zin, good sir. Zin, sorry. You hear the ever familiar sound of Val letting go a strong stream. Sorry, that drow should be there. My bad. You also hear from. Uh, a door over here. Uh, 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 uh. The sounds of oh, somebody God. in um in pain. But you hear another He's person gonna... begin um to speak. Give me an intelligence uh check. You can't tell the language, but it sounds an awful lot like somebody just slamming syllables of separate languages together, trying to form words, and it doesn't seem to be working. Uh, Zin is ever so curious, uh, so he'll uh, kind of creep up to the door. I mean, I guess they've heard him but he'll still kind of creep to the door, see if he can get a better ear for what's going on. Let's 
same thing. Uh, just absolute gibberish. It makes no sense. It is not like any language you've ever heard before. Sin's going to try to sneak a peek. <clears throat> As you get to the door, you hear the draw behind you. I assure you, they're not going to hurt you, says the drow in the chair. I believe those are failed experiments. I believe I was one of the next to go. That would have been me in another few minutes, I'm sure of it. As you crack the door open, you see laying on two slabs in the center of the room. Um, rather humanoid looking creatures. As you crack the door open, the, s the smell immediately wafts out. It just reeks of death and carnage. The tables uh, seem to be arranged in uh, a triangle in the center of the room. The floor around them stained with blood. Atop two of the tables, held down with leather straps, are two humans. One is dressed, uh, actually, sorry, they're both dressed like homeless men, much like the drow behind you. One looks dead, except for his, uh, while the other one gibbers like a madman. Third table is bare, except for an area of sticky blood at one end. Okay, I'll step in. And that's just it, eh? Yeah, as you get closer, you can definitely notice um, holes in the creature's faces. Much like you just saw on Kugra. This leads you to believe that this is probably where the Mind Flayer fed. These creatures were his meals. Unfinished. Gross. And they're like making no sign of moving or anything like that. They're just basically brain dead, it sounds like. Yeah. You also see a trail of blood leading towards this door. And you remember seeing when you first entered a trail of blood leading from the other side of the door to the front of the iron gate where the Kuatoa had been munching and gnawing on bones and flesh. Oh, they would eat the bodies after this Mr. Guy had a snack. You do not need to the, the one seems brain dead. The other one, um, he doesn't have as much um, holes in his face as, as the other one does. And he is speaking in gibberish. It, it seems like he probably has some sort of madness about him. Yeah, I mean, it's completely incoherent, though, right? It's just that random syllables and stuff. It is. However, you also see in the corner of the room over here a small desk. Parchments are spread across it and a small bookshelf above it sits with several books. Um, scrolls and small piece of parchment placed in between some of the books. Hmm. I will go and check that desk out. Sure. Give me an investigation. Boo. What a shame. You do find something that looks like a spell scroll. And in fact, strange enough, it seems like you can read it. Oh. You find one scroll of 
greater restoration. Okay, okay. I'm going to take that, slam that. Um, but so there's a bunch of books and stuff here. I just don't know what they do or are as well. None of them seem important. Okay. A lot of it just seems um, like uh, this creature's own research notes. <laughs> okay. Um, am I able to call Valen or go back and grab him? Sure. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll pop my head around the corner and be like, hey, Val, come, come check this out. The drow says, oh. I told you they weren't going to be any use. What am I checking out, Zin? Uh, Zin's like, well, I found her school of restoration at, on this desk, and it looks like a bunch of research, but I don't know. This stuff is far too smart for me. Um, I don't know if there's anything that might be of value to the, you there as well. Got it. I will cast Comprehend Languages as a ritual. This is not a language. Uh-huh. So, unfortunately, as you cast this uh, in, over the next 10 minutes, uh, I mean, in, in those 10 minutes, then are you just hanging there waiting? No, no. W- once I notice that he's doing his thing, I'm, I'm like, he's smart people. I'm not. I'm going to go up to uh, Ray and show her the scroll I found. Because sh- I, knowing that she'll know what it is, I assume, right? Hey, hey, don't, don't leave me here. At least pick my lock, I, something. Find a key, maybe? I'm fully on ignoring this person for now. You head up to Ray. Ray, come over here. Take a look at this. Um, I'll just point to you. Can I be like, yo, what's, what are we doing? What's going on? Zin's like, well, come look at this. Uh, this may be of help. And he's like, we, we, we got to talk first. What is it? So he's going to show her the one scroll of greater restoration that he just found. He's like, I, I only found one. But I know what this does. And I'm, I'm sure you do too. <clears throat> yeah, but I know because I have lesser restoration as a spell that I have. Um, Greater Restoration is on your uh, spell list, so yes, you would both know the spell. However, you would also okay. both know that because you cannot, uh, you cannot pass that level of spell, that to use a spell scroll is going to be difficult. So, player knowledge, to cast a spell using a scroll that is on your spell list, but is a higher level than what you can currently cast requires an arcana check the dc equals 10 plus the spell's level this is a level 5 spell to cast this roll a 15 or higher yes and if you fail the spell scroll is burned and nothing happens but this is a thing i could use my fey luck on if i fail uh is it for skill checks Yes, it is. You may. Oh, but it's an intelligence check. That's rough. It's Arcana. Yep. Yep, that's rough. Zine is no smart. Well, you you both have this on your spell list, so either one of you can attempt it. Yeah. Yeah, my attempt would be rough, is what I'm saying. And I assume I'd know that it's pretty rough for me to try it. So, who are you going to use it on? Yukna or the tank you guys have currently? Uh, Zin will, t- will talk with Ray. He's like, should, should we try this? He's like, I, I... Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, since it's on both their spell lists, might one help the other? Um, no, not in this. The, but, the... okay, this is, this is where my thought process is going. If we try it and it fails, we're no better off than not using it. Yes, this, this is true. Um, my, my conundrum isn't whether to use it. It's who to use it on. 
you can uh, is is a valued friend of mine, but we also can't carry out Kugra. And also, we don't know that poofing her is not going to fix it. You could poof her until we can find somebody in town that can cast that spell, which I feel like should be maybe a cleric at the church. And we can carry out Kugra. Am am I comfortable feeling that if I don't fix Yukina right away, that she's not going to die? Medicine check. Okay. You also remember, she's died can, before. Can you, I use I, guidance you know, on him? You know what? You don't even have to for roll this? for it. Um, because oh. you oh, are... Because I know if she dies, I can bring her back. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's an option too, you know? Yeah, but I don't want to kill her. No, a little euthanasia just to bring him back? Comes back? No, that feels terrible, sir. The choice is yours, lady and gentleman. Or, I guess, lady and gentleman. Seems like... At, at, le at least I can... Keep Yukina safe. If she's unconscious. But we can't do the same for Kugra. Exactly. And I feel like the odds of survival are greater for Yukina than it would be for him. It's in nods. This is true. He's like, very well. Please, please help Kugra. Okay. And then Zin will dismiss Yukina for now. From inside the room, you hear. Uh, uh, sorry, I lost it. Where is it? Where is he? Ah, you hear? Or we could, you know. Help that drow strapped to the chair. Pretty obvious that this guy is like trying to change his voice. Okay, Ray hears the <laughs> words drow and like shoots a glance over to Zinn because she didn't, he didn't tell her it was a drow in there and just like gives him like a death stare and like shakes her head no. Because she has trauma from last time we helped drow. Because Val's he head was cut off. Zen takes note of her stare, but says nothing. I mean, in all fairness, it was pretty obvious she was going to turn on you. She, she specifically had said, you know, if we just show them that we belong, they'll accept us. And you guys still brought that person with you. <laughs> yeah, but the fact that she's a she... Female drows cannot be trusted, man. Well, what do you guys want to hey, do? One, one thing at a time. Okay, We're gonna restoration to... thing. What do I need to do? Uh, what, what your your fate lock? Do you have to call that before or after you roll? After I roll, because it adds a d6. Arcana DC fifteen. Okay, I'm using my Fey Luck. Oh, this is going to be so close. Give me that D6. Oh, wow. yeah! Easy. We did it! Barely. As you lay your hands uh, on uh, one hand on, on Kugra, Kugra, and you read from the scroll in your other hand, at first, it feels like it's going to wane, and you, you concentrate even harder. And as you read this scroll, it suddenly bursts into flames in your hands and dis dissipates into the air. Dissipates, sorry. And all of a sudden, Ku you see Cougar, like, some life come back to his eyes. <gasps> <gasps> oh, what fucking happened? Ray is just so excited that she did this <coughs> spell because it's like a hard spell to do and she just like forgets that she saved his life and just gives him like a you know like one of those friendly like punches on the arm and she's just so excited yeah he he's scrambling for his axe and shield to find it and then all of a sudden you just come in and give him this big bear hug ah oh guess the fighting be over huh 
He looks around and the, the illith is laying dead next to him, surrounded by dead Kuatoa and Kuatoa whips, and this little brain creature. Ah, I fucking hate mind flares. Ah. Ray will just look at him and be like, tell me about it, and then like, move her hands up and down her body to like, indicate like, I'm covered in blood. Um, and then after Kugra's up, I'm like, okay, we need to have a team meeting. And he's going to point to, um, Hyastus. Uh, Hy, Hi Hi yeah, Hyastus. Like, you come with me as well as the rest. All right, as you guys, uh, we'll all meet head... in Val's room. Yeah, you guys can start heading down there. Val, uh, you hear them coming, and just as they do, you finish your ritual. Um, this language, quote unquote, that this this uh, commoner is speaking. It. Oh no, I was talking for the writing, not the commoner. Oh, writing on what? Books and such scrolls. Oh yeah, I mean they're all in like common and uh, I guess under common. Yeah, I don't speak under common. And um. The hell is the language of the far realm? Um, oh shit! What is it? Hold on a sec. Mordia. Deep speech. Deep speech. There you go. You, uh, most of these are just uh, the experiments this creature had been uh, doing, which most of them are it's looking an awful lot like what we would call Nazi experiments. Nothing comes from them. There's just curiosity of what would happen. Um, however, there is one that you do find um, where he was trying to create new mind flares larvas ones that are more about psionic spells than just mental um psionics much like himself who you saw use a couple spells which uh i will give both zin and bal actually not zin sorry because you're not actually from the underdark val you might know a little bit about it. You can give me a your choice of arcane or history. Um, what you know of mind flares is um not a huge amount, but one thing you do know that if uh, usually mind flares who use spells. And not just their psychic abilities are often exiles of the hive mind. More than likely, you probably will not find any more. The fact you found two that were hanging around in the same area, with at least one of them being like a full blown exile, is strange. Well, given that Val is part of a massive library and wants to acquire knowledge for it, he's going to take all of the knowledge that he can shove into his bag of holding uh, to drop off to the library the next time he's there. Sure. Um, we will say you get 10 books on Mind Flayer experiments. Yeah, we'll just call it 10 books on Mind Flayer experiments. The, uh, the, the man in the room so, yes, for a minute. Been damn near half an hour. Are we helping each other or not? Well, Zin's going to uh, talk to everybody in the room. Him as well. He's like, well, <clears throat> he's like, you're, you're only leaving, correct? You are looking to get GTFO. Aye, but, I mean, I'm here if... Uh, 
you all don't think you can get me out safely right now, then I guess I'm here with you until then. He's like, well, our, our main mission, we, we still have someone to find in here. And we also have to deal with Xanathar. So we still have things to do. And unless, like, he looks at the party, unless you feel that we need to leave now, looking at the group, not to him. Wait, we have to find somebody? Yeah, it's uh, Jarlaxle's subordinate. We talked about it. Jarlaxle? We went down. The guy in the other room? No, from from oh, from yeah, Brig yeah, and yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, my yeah, bad. he's like the leader of Brig and Earth. Gotcha. I think if we get out, we're probably not getting back in. Is the issue? That is my fear as well. This may be our one shot at the can. Well, we at least need a place to rest because we can't continue in this state. Zen nods to that as well. So the first and question. Then, and then we have that gentleman over there to, to think about. And Zin will fill in the group about his whole discussion with the Gentle drow. wouldn't be a word I'd use to describe him. Sure. So Zin will discuss that with the group and ask their thoughts. So I think if we're betting the odds, most drow are people you'd want on your side. Trusting Drow has never worked for us in the past. Let's say, like, hey, 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 let's let's drop the Drow bomb here. Let's 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 set that aside for a <laughs> moment, okay? Hey, it wouldn't be a stereotype if it wasn't true. You're not. Wow! Wrong. Wow! All in. You may not be a hundred percent wrong, but it still doesn't make me feel good about it. Okay, there are exceptions to the rule. There are. They're few and far between. I can't deny that. I mean, if you want to, we can, but I reserve the right to say I told you so if it works out poorly. The the risk is great, and I, I don't even know what we have to gain, as he hasn't even promised us anything other than a reward that is unknown and undeclared. And he doesn't have armor or weapons. Yes. The fact that he's looking for a female drow is what's worrisome. And yes, that also doesn't help as well. From a family, too. He did say remnants Wait. of a family. They are now a mercenary band. Yeah. And he, he used the that. word that escape the, uh, the societal bonds of his people. That's true, that's true. So I will point that out to the group. And I will let them know that I'm torn because I would like to see more of my people that are not of the main houses and have, who follow Loth survive and perhaps grow. So that one day, it's not always the way it is today. Well, that can't happen if we don't give it a shot. If you want to, I'll go for it. What's the name of the drow we're looking for? Um, Is it like Gnarl or something? I think that's it. Give me a sec. I don't have it in my notes, but I definitely made the... Oh, it says Xanathar one. Drow Gnarl. N-A-R apostrophe L. Yep, there it is. Gnarl. Nailed it. Okay, ask if he knows this dude. That's fair. We can do that. But if he does also, not... Also, what did he tell you? What kind of... What mercenary guild he's with now? Uh, I don't think I asked that. Did I don't think I asked that one, Savage. You did not. Okay. I can ask that as well. Um, but I do want to know your thoughts before I go in and have a discussion. Well, those are important questions to ask in order to know my thoughts on the subject matter. The Zinnots. human up in the corner um, pipes up. If I may, be honest, you're the first drow I've ever uh, met that didn't try to kill me on the spot. 
I don't know Ray if just we like, should trust lo- him. Ray just looks over and like points at him with a face that's like, uh, you see, this is what I'm talking about, but just like with her eyes. <laughs> yes, yes, I I hear you. I hear you. But are you listening? I am, and I won't go against the group. So if you tell me no, then no is the answer. The gibberish continues from one of the men on the um on the benches. And Val. When you put all those books into your bag of holding. I did feel one piece of parchment that felt different. Then I would have a look at it. You reach back in your bag of holding. It is another scroll of greater restoration. Would I know that given it's on my spell list? Uh, I believe um, Zen showed you. Uh, the other scroll, did he not? Yeah, he did. Because he he tried to get Val to look at it, and Val's like, Bleh. so then he brought it to me. It looks very similar, to say the least. And you have seen this particular spell been used, uh, you would have seen it being used to cure madness when you were in, your, in the tower. Well, I will share it with the party and explain it. At this point, potentially, we've got three choices. I mean, if we're considering the two humans here, uh, or we could just uh, bring back uh, Yukina. Or try. Hmm. You help the civilian, or do you help an ally who could easily be helped at another time. That is the question. Well, the civilian's not going to fight for us, so... Eh. Yeah, that's true. The only thing is that they, they could give us information on the people, but they could also not, because we don't know how long they've been down here. Do you say this out loud? Yes. You guys can hear the drow in the other room. Uh, he's been here a while. So have I. And you can hear him shake his shackles. <laughs> I'll close the door so we can talk quietly. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Dude, we're in the um... Yeah, right? Zin's just on a call, a personal call, so he's gone for the minute, just so you guys know. I'd say try and bring her back. My vote. Yeah, try and bring her back instead? Yep. Okay, we can do that. Damn, Val, what, uh, what's your alignment? But we also don't know that if, that if Yukina comes back, we don't know that she's healed. That's the thing. So for all we know, he could poof her back and she could be fine. True, true. And if she is fine, then we can discuss what to do with this scroll. Fair point. Okay, so if I bring his Yukina back, do I just drag and drop her like I did with my totem? Uh, Yes, but I think he has to burn a spell slot to do it. Okay, let me look at his sheet. While we're looking at that savage, do these civilians have any gear on them? That might suggest they could fight alongside us? No. However, give me an investigation. Okay. The one seems to have calluses around his fingertips. The other one has some of them baby soft hands. 
The one babbling the gibberish is the one with the calluses. The other one uh, that just lies still staring at the ceiling is the one that's just silent. <laughs> Got it. Are these like uh, calluses from musical instruments or calluses along the fingers themselves? On the fingertips. Um, I'm going to say you're not sure exactly what they're from, but whatever it is, he uses his fingertips a lot. So probably a musician. That would be my guess. Okay. I'll share that with the party and my thoughts on it. Okay, so this person is a musician is what we're discovering? That's what Val believes. Yeah. Doesn't it necessarily mean it's true, but that's what he believes. He's got calluses on his fingertips. So maybe archer, maybe musician, depending on where. Okay, okay. And the other one? Baby soft hands. And the one that has baby soft hands is the one that is just staring at and looks damn near brain dead. The one with that speaking gibberish that obviously has a touch okay. of madness is the uh the one with the calluses. Okay, okay, okay. Um maybe not the one that is not like maybe the one that's like a little bit more coherent. Seems reasonable. And then uh, Zen brought back Yukina as well. Yukina is still Omatose. Okay, then we will try using it on her. That's intelligence, right? Or no, Arcana. Arcana. Can you cast Guidance on yourself? Or is that no. concentration? No. I can't. Guidance? Well, she can't cast Guidance, but yes, she can cast it on yourself if you have it. I have Guidance. Yeah. Oh, you do? Pretty sure you can cast it on yourself. Yeah. Oh, you can? I want to do that. You have already rolled. Yeah, but I was in the already in the process when the question was answered. I couldn't cut. It doesn't let you cancel it in this stupid website. That is something you need to think of beforehand, though. Once the die is cast, it is too late. This is unfortunate, though. As you begin to cast this spell, the magic begins to wane, fade. You try your best to hold on to it. Fortunately, as the scroll burns away, nothing happens. Well, no worse off than we were. I think we should find a place to rest and then kind of just figure out our next move. I personally don't want to help the drow, but that's just my opinion. Yeah, I don't want to, but Zen wants to imagine the utopia where they're not always evil, so I'll go along with him if he wants to. So what does Zinn okay, do with can... Yukina? I don't know. I don't know how to use her. Like maybe he'll just put her back. Dismisses her once like, again. Take her away. Yeah. This one continues to gibber away. And you think maybe that you, know, you give it your best effort. But maybe if that one had shut the fuck up, 
you might have been able to concentrate well enough to get this spell off. But Zin, with a sigh, puts, sends Yukina back home. This man here, overhearing the conversation, waiting for you all to make up your mind, he says, I wouldn't be doing no resting down here. I hear people come in quite often. Any ideas on a location that might be accessible? Arrest? Probably outside of this place. No kidding. If you well, want if we're helping the drow, leaving is not an option. So, have you done made up your mind? What are we doing? I guess we're helping the drow in the other room. Okay, uh, give me one minute. I but I think we a... should ask him the appropriate questions before just unleashing him. I'm just looking for... Oh, there it is. Where the hell is Kugra? Backups. Characters. Friends. Yes, there he is. Um, during this whole time the conversation's happening, Kugra's basically just gonna say, uh, you know, you'll go with the group kind of thing. Um, but Kugra is going to use some of his abilities, I think, to Heal himself up, because he is royally messed up at the moment. Nobody's healed him, so he's going to do it himself. He is going to dump. Thirty points of his lay on hands. Into himself. Does he have... He might actually have something that can help. Give me a second. Look at his sheet. He's... You can I can also him. heal him, too. Yeah, you might want to keep that for the upcoming battle, so if you guys are staying in the dungeon. Oh, uh, maybe I was wrong. Wait, where's, let me take a look at Lay on Hands. Okay, yeah. He has healed himself up as much as he can. He's still he's still definitely got some bumps and bruises. Uh, but he is looking a hell of a lot better than he did. So you guys are heading to help the drow or ask him questions first, yeah? Yeah, yeah I'd like to know like what guild like what the guild is that he's working for and also if he knows that knows of the person that we're looking for but i don't want him to know that we're looking for this person if that makes sense okay so you guys go out to ask questions you uh he says ah by the time you come back you ready to get me out of these shackles now and he shakes his uh shakes the one chain attached to his arm and Ray will just step forward and be like, we have questions. And she'll, like, take her staff and, like, hold it. Like, like she's ready to hit him if he moves out of turn. Oh, 
Well, it's not like I'm going anywhere. You got questions? Ask him so I can get out of these chains. Okay, so let's ask him what guild he's a part of. Because Zin said that his family is now a part of a mercenaries guild. Mercenary band. Uh, as you oh, mentioned sorry, the word yeah. guild, he's he's confused. Uh, don't think you know much about mercenaries. It's, it's not like a thieves guild or assassins guild. Uh, everybody's controlled by their own leaders, I guess you could say. <clears throat> as for what we're called... Kind of new. Most of the house only got wiped out three weeks ago. We haven't really exactly come up with a name, but our plan is to become mercenaries. We are brand new right. to this. Sorry, what did you say the name of it was? I didn't hear you. <clears throat> we don't have a name. We are... Brand new. Our, the house Arvindar was only wiped out two, three weeks ago. We haven't even had any jobs yet. This is just our plans for the future. And then Ray will ask him if he knows of Narl. Nar, whatever his name is. Ah, never heard of him. Ray will just like look over at the boys and be like, she'll shrug and be like, I tried. Who's up next? Well, let's see what happens. I'm going to go out and search the Mind Flayer for keys. Investigation. Find no key. What you do find, however... Everybody give me a D one Hundo What the actual fuck? <laughs> Holy fuck Ninety four platinum six gold, two silver. Um, player to player to DM. Do we split the this money with uh, Cougar as well? Uh, well, he is a merc. Um, so, but so Val, Val, uh, Val is the one who has actually found it. Cougar is still in you, with you guys in the room, so I'll leave that to okay. Val to decide how and when he's going to split that up. And it was 94 plat, two gold, and something? Six gold, Six two gold, silver. Six gold, two silver. Got it. Val. Jinx, you owe me a bottle of pop. You owe me a beer. Val. Val's not going to share with Cougar. I think I heard something about a Val poverty. Wow. This guy. By the way, if you're lawful, I, I, I feel like I'm going to need a... Uh, a when somebody takes a lawful alignment, I'm gonna need their code at some point, their list of ideals and shit. Fair. Whatever gets me ahead. <laughs> All right. Well, no, I'll, I'll come up with something better than that. That's just me being an ass. No, I mean like usually they've got like you know kind of a list like. You know, a lawful good might be, you know, their code might be, um, all children are innocent. Uh, you know, like, kind of like, almost like a paladin's list of tenants for their god, kind of thing. But it's a personal code. 
I'm with you. Kind of the, the line they will not cross just to get themselves ahead. Got it. Okay, like like leaving down. a madman murmuring to himself <laughs> kind of thing. Dude, he was like that when I found it. Oh fuck. Um But I'm I'm not saying you can't do that. I just I need a code so I have something to compare your actions to, that's all. Okay. Um, you don't find a key though. I'll search the fish people. Yeah, they're they're naked. Fully naked. Is a fish really naked though? You know? I mean it's not an actual fish, it's still a humanoid. It looks you like said a fish. it had fish feet, that's it. No, you said it's fish it's feet. Got human no, or it's sorry, got human arms. feet and fish body. Human feet and fish body. No, like the like the torso and the head. I mean, it doesn't have like a, a tail fin. It, it still has so arms. It's like a reverse mermaid. I mean, I mean, it, they're all still covered in scales and shit. So now is the fish burnt, or is it just kind of a crispy brown? Um, Can we eat it? Holy I'm just joking. Fuck! I'm <laughs> actually, I'm actually curious about that now. I'm fucking hungry right now. I am actually curious about that. Um, I'll let you know. Delicious in dungeon. Come on, guys. You know what? Right. I got two episodes in that, or maybe three, and I cannot stand it. It's the most boring anime I've ever watched. I don't know how people like it. It's because it's too nice for you. Yeah, maybe. It's too wholesome. Maybe. She just called you an asshole. I mean, she's not His fucking wrong. His name is Savage. <laughs> I know. He's not wrong. Just, no. trying, just trying to instigate start shit. He's also friends with my brother. I know know how that goes. Well, there you go. I don't even know your brother. Bro, so. your brother goes a little too far for me sometimes. I'm like, holy fuck, man. Um, but anyways, um, you don't find. I mean, unless you're searching prison pockets, you're not going to find anything on the Kotoa. Really? All right. I'll search prison pockets. This man um, searching buttholes. Uh, you, you, yeah. What the You're fuck? The door, bro. <laughs> that, that, that was a joke, man. Like, you'd have to take it so seriously. Yeah, you, I, sure, you know what? You reach your hand into the first dead Kuotoa's butthole. It's, uh, nice and crispy. Oh, I'll, I'll use a mage hand. Oh, that's not what you said. Yeah, he's not going to use his real that's hand. That's not Come what on. he said. He said, I'm going to reach said, uh, into the prison fucking pocket. prison pocket. Okay, well, cool, then I'll reach into the prison pocket. Yeah, your hand comes out covered in fucking Kua Toa poo. Nice. Back to digitation. Now it's clean. (laughs) The next one is made hand. Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're 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 still not finding anything but, you know, fecal matter, my guy. Search them all thoroughly. Okay, guys. Okay. Listen, Zen can pick the lock here, okay? Thank I you. put a lot of effort into this stupid thing. The, Let me pick the damn. The drow is like looking past you guys. What in the actual fuck is your tiefling friend doing right now? Is that? Huh? Oh god, he's not. Huh? <laughs> Dude, you want it out? Quit getting picky about how you get out. There's got to be a key here somewhere. I mean, if you want me to leave you there, that's totally cool. I won't search him. I don't mind. He goes, he just said he can pick the lock. You don't need to. <laughs> nice. Zen, you picking yeah, that lock? Yeah, come over. Yeah, I'm going to pick the fucking lock. But I'm before, as I as I sit there nice and close to him, I'm going to pick the lock because I assume it's like close to his hands. Right? Yeah, they're, they're, uh, He's got four of them, one on each ankle and one on each arm. Uh, it's it's a very short chain. The shackles around his wrists and his ankles. Perfect. As I come in to pick the locks, I'm going to lean in close to him and be like, I'm going to help you, but if you step out of line, not only will you not see tomorrow, but you will wish that this torture was all you received this day. He looks you dead in the eye and 
just kind of stares for a moment and then gives you a solemn nod. Give me your lockpicking skills. Oh, I didn't use the right modifier. That's fine. I only use wisdom instead of dexterity. It worked anyway. I'll take it. Give me three more. Okay. It's the only way to guide his hands. You have a little trouble with uh, the last two, but you manage to get them out. As his hands release, he kind of rubs his wrists, uh, where you, you can see that the the flesh underneath is is he's been here a little while. He's definitely cut up, and uh, even though he's got a dark complexion, you can see like the the pinkness of the skin underneath where these shackles were. He gives a sigh of relief. Finally, I had stuff. I I need my stuff. And this one says he he looks at you, Zen. You sure about this? And Zen looks at him. Not a hundred percent, but uh, if it looks like he is going to betray us, feel free to stab him. I'm gonna start heading up to search the other jail for stuff. The... Yeah, like another scroll. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was only supposed to be one. I, I, I gave you guys a little pity and was hoping you'd do the, the good guy thing. I'll but... take more pity, okay? Yeah, no, no more pity. Uh, This drow is actually going to follow you up, Val, uh, along with uh this one. And he says, I'll show you where it is. And he actually takes, he follows you in, Val, uh, and you see... Next to this barrel, there's a small chest. It says, I saw some belongings that look like they were drowned made in there. That might be it. He walks over and starts picking through, and he manages to find his stuff. I'll search the chest for anything else. Nope. I say we give him clothes and nothing else. Right. All right, so nothing else. That's cool. Yep. Uh, this is just uh, belongings for the prisoners. As he gets his gear back on, he says, well, he, he um, puts his scimitar into his uh, sheath as he buckles the belt on. So, where to now? And with that... We are going to end the session for the day. I'm going to outro the stream and I'll be right back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming and being a part of this campaign. Uh, I got a new follower today, so thank you. What's the name here? Uh, thank you to Stonearm13. For coming and hanging out dropping the follow it's always appreciated i'm always glad when uh new people hop in thank you for being here uh night thank you for the biddies it's always a pleasure to have you in here my guy uh you're chill people wonderful to have you and uh heavy metal sasquatch same always glad to have you in here thank you everybody for hanging out with us that is going to be it for us for today uh but let me just switch to this um, just so you guys know what I got coming up, um, I might do another stream tonight. Normally I do, um, but Snowbubble actually has a, um, her affiliate anniversary today. Um, so definitely check her out. I'll give her a shout out. So if you don't know her, you can definitely go check her out. Um... She's got her affiliate anniversary today. Uh, she's got some really cool things in her list of uh, goals. So the more um, subs she gets and such, uh, the more stuff she's going to do. I'm not sure whether it's today or a lot of the stuff is going to be on a um, on a uh, not previous uh, 
stream in the future. Um, but that's going on today. So I believe she starts that in an hour, I think. Uh, we also have Adventures in Wildmount tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, that is a homebrew campaign. It is very high level. They are, I want to say 16 or 17 now. Um, it's getting near the end. They only have so many in-game days to complete it. Uh, then on Monday, we have some Halo Infinite with uh, me and Zequas and uh, Fluffy Gero, which is playing... Uh, uh, Zequas is playing Zinn in this campaign, and uh, Fluffy Gero is playing Valorant. We also have uh, two other people joining us for Halo, uh, Heavy Metal Sasquatch and Your Black Up. So definitely tune in for that. That's 7 p.m. Eastern on Monday, and hopefully we will see you all soon. Uh, we have four people. You know what? Why don't I send out a raid? How about that? So just give me a minute. I'll find somebody to raid real quick. Uh, let's, oh, you know what? Let's raid this guy. He's doing some Dungeons and Dragons as well. All right. So we are going to raid Arcadum. So, uh, I hope to see you all here again soon, uh, either tonight or tomorrow. So definitely stop in again. Uh, we'll have some more fun. And remember, everybody. Whoops. Be savage or go home. Pieces.